All right, and we are live from.
Okay. Mic works, so I could just yeah. interchange. Do you want to introduce? Yes. You want you'll introduce? Okay. What's his name? Yeah? What's his Anytime name again? Who's yeah. 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 yes. well, Thank you for making this happen. It's, uh, it's amazing. Hold on. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, okay, no, I got it. We do. Now we are running out on content. Farid, we need you. Yes. There we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just okay. So we can both be. Ah, okay. Sawa, sawa. Woo. Mm. Let me know when we are on. Alright, if you guys don't know this man, I don't know what you know, but he is the guy behind Kalasha, the guy behind um, everything that's happening today, and he's in full support of the film industry in Kenya. He's made this happen today at the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards, the CEO himself. Sa karibu tena sana, you look amazing. Asante sana, thank you. Nataka kuliza, as an entertainer, I ask this a lot. Your dress, who's, who's dressed you today? You know, CC entertainers. We know, we know who's dressed us. Now I want to ask, Mdosi Pia Najua? My, my daughter who is 10 years old. Oh my God! Yes, she's called Daniela. Wow, big shout out to you, Daniela. And so much has been happening in the film industry. Now um, um, f uh, actors are saying that they're making more money than they used to. I just want to know, um, coming this far, what are some of the things that you have picked up about the film industry, some of the things that are yet to be improved on, and some of the people that you would commend for assisting the film industry in Kenya? That's a very good point. The film industry is serious business. I think that's where we begin. And uh, anyone watching us needs to note that if you are not part of the film industry, then you are missing something very big. We need to be able to work together and see to it that we are contributing to storytelling business. And that's why Kenya Film Commission has put so many programs in place, programs that are geared towards creating an ecosystem for growth. Remember, the whole of this week, we've been here at KICC with a platform where producers are able to find financiers, co-producers from other countries, and again, local producers getting an opportunity to learn from the best. So the ecosystem for film is an ecosystem like any other. When we talk about manufacturing, we talk about tourism, film is an enabler for all. Mm -hmm. Yes. And sir, um, as you've seen, so many people have come to support um, the film industry. How does that make you film as a film enthusiast and number one film supporter in Kenya? I'm very happy that we are all now rallying behind storytelling. And let's call all our parents, our brothers and sisters, that they are missing something big. And let's rally this to be the game changer as far as our economy is concerned. You can employ so many people in the film industry as compared to any other industry. So this is where it all begins. Kalasha is where you belong. Lovely that you've mentioned the awards now. Who are you rooting for tonight? Nani unangoja kuona ashinde? Nani ulimpigia kura? All the nominees are my people. 
And um, no, now you, I want you to pinpoint on one person. I'm looking forward to see all winners, all nominees are winners. So for me, it does not matter who wins, but it's the industry that is winning. Oh, thank you very, very much, sir. You look amazing. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Thank you for putting this up. And for the guys back at home, the film enthusiasts, I want you to give them one word of advice. Storytelling is real business. Let's do this together. If you are not here, please watch this on TV and let's be part of this movement. Thank you so much, sir. Welcome, 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 welcome. We have an amazing program for you. I hope you enjoy. Yes. Thank you, and you look amazing. Too. Thank you, sir. Okay, sorry. Yes. Do they have that on cue? No, I think we're live now. I've been told. Huh? My mic is here. I've been told Waziri is getting here. So we're waiting for Waziri. Waziri is getting here. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and lovers of the silver screen, welcome to the grand premiere of the 13th edition of the Kalasha International Film and Television Awards. We, we gather to celebrate the magic of storytelling, the power of imagination, and the boundless creativity that fuels the world of film and television. Now, as we embark on this cinematic journey, guided by the glimmering lights of the silver screen, my name is Free Kimani, and I'm honored to stand next to this oh. beautiful woman <laughs> and my co-host for the evening, Claudia. Yes, thank you so much, Farid. And today we're going to take you guys on a thrilling adventure from drama, romance, comedy. And as we pay homage to the individuals who have entertained us through the past year, today we celebrate. It's a star-studded event. All right, so as we wait to go inside and see the magic that's going to happen tonight, all the nominees, all the winners, we're going to cut to the red carpet and Claudia is going to talk to the who's who of Africa's film and television world. And we are live from the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards, live from KICC. And I'm joined by the amazing and beautiful Kanye from South Africa. Kanye, say hi to the Kenyan people. Hello, Kenya Jumbo. Yeah. <laughs> you got a greeting now. You need to teach me one. How do we say hello in Zulu? Sani Bonani. And how do you respond? Yebo. Yebo. Okay. Sani Bonani. Yebo. Yes. And she's a filmmaker and she was showing her film here at the Kalasha. Now, let, let, tell me more a bit about your film and uh, why you decided to show it in the Kalasha. Thank you very much. So I'm in uh, Kenya as part of a South African delegation that's here. There's about four of us, two filmmakers, an administrator and an animator that we brought here today. I 
was showing my film called A Woman of Substance and my film is basically a film that honors a very powerful woman, a woman of substance. Her name is Beauty Silila. She was a nurse, she was an activist, she was a community builder. It is a documentary and it had its world premiere right here at the Kalasha Film Festival, meaning that it was filming and now it's ready and it showed in Kenya for the very first time. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's such an honor. Thank you for giving us the exclusive. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, what are you looking forward to tonight? It's an amazing night. So many uh, people have been nominated. I know people are anxious. Is there someone you're specifically rooting for? Well, it's my first time attending these awards. I had a chance to look on the website, the previous winners, the categories, and I know that these are one of the biggest awards in the country. So I'm just looking forward to seeing the best talent being honored here today. I don't know most of the filmmakers, but I know that the people who are going to be honored here today are going to deserve it. Thank you so much, Kanye. You look amazing, as I said. I hope you enjoy the night. Thank you so much. Thank you too. Now, it's an amazing day. As you can see, it's all glitz and glam. And I'm not the only person who is hosting tonight. There are amazing people hosting. It's an amazing day. And we have so many stars are in the building. I've seen King Kaka. I've seen Avril. Just to mention a few. We have a couple of people, so stay tuned. All right, with me is Patrick and Kenneth from Anger Cinemax. I know you guys know them because every time you want to take someone on a date, that's where you go. That's where we premiere majority of our films. And as people look contribute to the film industry and of course the marketing aspect of it, you look good. Both of you look good. So I know guys don't do this, but who dressed you tonight? I uh, uh, dressed by me. All, all me. Both of you. I want to thank me. For being me. <laughs> yes. And um, Kenneth, who dressed you tonight? It's Anger Cinema. This is us. And now it's your paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does this better than Anger. <laughs> yeah. I love, love, love that confidence. And of course, you guys have seen a lot of Kenyan films. So, 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 so. Um, what are you guys looking for tonight? What are you looking forward to seeing tonight? For me, uh, it's seen the talent being awarded and the industry growing to this point that you're able to reach this far, get movies into the cinemas, and I appreciate them having making films that are made for cinemas. I really appreciate that. All right, and you, Kenneth? What was the question? Oh, my God. What are you looking forward to tonight? Who are you rooting for? Yeah, um, you know, we, we, we are the home of local movies, and we support all of them. Yeah, so <laughs> all the best to the to the winners. We can't really say we have the favorite. Yeah, yeah. Now, Mahali, but thank you so much. You gentlemen look amazing. I hope you guys have a good night, and I hope you enjoy the awards. Eh? We have an amazing, um, you know, program for you guys. Also tell people to come and watch movies. Yes. Now, now, now. Please, Amesem. I don't want to repeat it, but please, would you please tell them? Please just echo it one more time. I personally want to welcome you to Anger Cinemas. You are the best cinemas in Kenya. Yes, thank you so much. And from the Anger Cinemax crew, from myself to you, enjoy the night. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you too, gentlemen. And we are live one more time from the biggest film and TV award show in East Africa. In Africa, if I do say so myself. And with me is an amazing gentleman. He looks really nice. Huh? I, I like the gold. I like the gold. You're in theme. You're very much in theme. So I'd love to know your name. Yes, we do. I'd love to know your name and the institution you represent tonight. My name is Mike Strano. I'm co-founder of Yakwetu. We are a distributor of films. We have three nominees tonight. Oh, and please do tell us, who are those nominees? Yeah, so in total we have 25 nominations for, for our three films. So that is uh, Death Valley, which is an uh, animation. Then we have Where the River Divides, and then which is a short film, and Act of Love, which is another short film. So we're the distributors of those three films. And tonight, I know, um, do you have your acceptance speech ready? Uh, I'll be representing one of the nominees, and it's been sent to me, yes. So. Okay, you look amazing. I hope you enjoy the night. Who else are you rooting for tonight? Um, apart from our three, um, I don't know. I'm confident on the jury and confident on the fans of the films that the best films will win, yeah. 
Okay, thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing night. We have an amazing program for you. And welcome to the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards. Looking forward to it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I mean, it's, it's, it's full of excitement. It's an amazing day. People are anxious over here. But with me is Michael Smalls, Munyoki, and Winx. I hope I said it right. I was, I was hoping, I was like, I hope I don't butcher your name. But you look amazing. And we're just talking about your styling. And you told me your stylist put something together. And this is, this is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Her name is Vivian. Thank you so much. She has a way of putting things together because I tell her, for me, comfort is key. I want to be comfortable. When the drums come, I will want to jump in. <laughs> Feel good. <laughs> I love that for you. I love that for you. Let me tell you something. Small last night. Let me, uh, small story, yeah? yeah. So small and I met last night. There was a party last night, and we met. <laughs> and uh, when I was leaving, um, I, I took a video. So because you featured in the Netflix film Pakani, my 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 brothers were actually watching it. So Nika and be hey hey hey, guess who I was with? Hey, they were like watch out, watch out, I'm They were so excited to see you, and so am I. You look amazing today. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, what I am mostly appreciate just for the for being nominated, being here, being with you lovely, amazing creatives. For me, this is it. This is, this is our party right here. And thank you, thank you. There's been so much love this time around for the films and the movie and the industry. There's been so much love. Thank you. We appreciate you so much. And, ah, uh, yo, yes, that's about it for me, man. <laughs> Let me say something. Um, this guy has a lot of nominations tonight, and he's going to tell us a bit more about that. I know he's anxious. Do you have your acceptance speech ready? Um, to be honest, I, I do not. Um, I, man, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's kind of the thing where I've been, I mean, I'm in a very heavy group, and I believe that each and every member of the person who has been nominated in my category is a heavyweight. Yeah. So to be honest, I haven't prepared an acceptance speech. I pray I win. But yo, it's heavy. It's heavy, man. I'm, I'm just prayful. That's all, man. Wishing you nothing but the best tonight. We are rooting for you and everyone in that category. Now, Mix, my love, I want you to tell me um, your view of the industry from when it, from um, a few years back, from five years ago. What are the differences? What are the key differences that you have noted yourself as a filmmaker? Yo, we are making moves. Truth be told, I know we have our own problems, our own struggles, but we are getting there we're growing like you cannot compare where we were five years ago and now so many platforms have come that are appreciating artists artists on a lipoa you guys <laughs> let's sing there for real for real let's stop crying a lot but platforms have come and every platform is there to impress so who is there to benefit it is the artists to nakatiwa they're impressing us you know <laughs> It's the one that is to Nakatiwa. Yeah, and how are you rooting for tonight? Oh my goodness, listen, I am hoo -hoo, butterflies like this. <laughs> butterflies like this. I've, I've also been nominated, by the way. Oh, and well, oh. All right, we're live from KICC. First of all, let us admit that the creative economy picked the economic value, the potential that this, this holds. And, and I'm looking at the whole spectrum, the whole ecosystem, film, music, fashion, pageantry, theater, the whole ecosystem of the, of the creative economy is immense. And really, you don't need to go far. Look at economies that have um, just sort of ignited that. Look at Nigeria on this continent, South Africa. A little further, you look at India, you look at Germany, the US. I mean, this is big, it's big. And if you, if you, if you don't see this, there must be something really wrong with you. And so for me, um, the Kalashas really, insofar as um, they optimize achievement and recognition uh, for the film industry, they really are a serious, an incredible platform for us to showcase what the creative economy is all about and what we can achieve together. Yeah. And Waziri, uh, you've traveled far and beyond, and I want to know, what's that one thing you want to commend the Kenya film industry for? <laughs> Kujituma. <laughs> the Kenya film industry, really, I mean, given the challenges that you have to surmount to make it to the top in, 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 the, in the environment that our creatives have operated in previously, I mean, those who have made it to the top, the spirit of Kujituma, pushing yourselves, 
smashing the ceiling and just saying impossible is nothing. Really, really, that is what I want to commend the Kenyan film industry for. And, and, and to assure them that now is a new dawn, we're putting in place every measure to give you that nudge you need to really hit the very top. Final yeah. question. Mm -hmm. You must have some favorites tonight. Are you going to tell us who nah. you're rooting for? Nah. Uh, <laughs> they're all mine. <laughs> Thank you they're so all much. mine I'm rooting for. Yeah. All of them. I mean, it's a, such an incredible cast of uh, nominees. You look across the whole spectrum. I feel sorry for the judges. I don't. I don't envy the. I don't envy the judges but, 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 who have to make the call. You, yeah. You're saying an incredible uh, cast of nominees. <clears throat> the improvement in the quality of production over Amazing. the course of the last, say, three to five years. Amazing. And oh, just to see where we can go next. How does it make you feel from where you sit in your docket? It, it just strengthens my belief. I mean, I have this very strong conviction that this that we are sitting on a diamond mine here. We are sitting on a diamond mine here. And this just strengthens my belief that we got to start mining like yesterday, like yesterday. And so for me, it is growing in leaps and bounds. And those who can't see yet, this should open your eyes. Well, Ziri, it's an amazing night. This is the 13th Kalasha Film and TV Awards. I hope you have a good night. I hope you enjoy yourself. I promise we have something for you. Asante. Well, that was awesome. It was. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. hey. Uh, and that was some, some great work by the Burundian drummers who have now left us, but they were phenomenal as well. Yes. All right. So we're going to start off very soon. We're going to move inside very soon. That was an incredible opening to the 13th annual Kalasha Television and Film Awards. Uh, so I will see you inside. See you inside. Well, with me, I'm about to bring a surprising act. Oh. Yeah, you, you guys don't way? know. I know how you like to do the red carpet. Mm. I'll leave your side. I enjoy Please the red carpet. There. This guy's looking really nice. Yeah. And um, I was talking to my photographer and he was telling me, I was asking him, how do you greet in Luo? And he didn't tell me. He's an uptown guy. So allow me to invite. Um, no, I've been told I need to hold this in okay. for the surprise performance. Okay. okay. So let me hold this in. And right about now, I think we're about to hand over to the people on stage. So over to you, Sheila and Makbo. We go inside? Yeah. I can yeah, take some more.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your hosts for the night, Makbul Muhammad and Sheila Mwaniga. Merci. Awesome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the awards. Before we begin any ceremony, in the African stars, we always begin with a prayer. And no better prayer to start with than that of our land. So let us please rise up for the national anthem. These shall both be the anthems of Kenya and the East African community. Thank you. Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, to our online audiences who are catching up with this evening's event, online and live on KTN, Karibuni Sana, to the 13th edition of the Kalasha International Film and Television Awards 2024. Honorable Ababu Namwamba, CS of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, as well as Dr. Hilary Mulama, board representative of the Kenya Film Commission, Mr. Timothy Owase, Chief Executive Officer of the Kenya Film Commission, our nominees, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening. We are creatives. Good evening. That's how we do it. How are you guys doing? Wow. It's good. Who's winning tonight is the question. Can I hear the winners from the left? What about the right? What about the middle? Oh, we know who the winners are. Sound check right there. <laughs> A very, very warm welcome once again and good luck to all contestants tonight. We've acknowledged the presence of our wonderful hosts and of course CS for being here Indeed. for tonight. We'd also like to acknowledge and thank our partners who have been instrumental towards the success of this event. We'd like to say Asante to the Communications Authority of Kenya, the Ken Kenya Film Classification Board, the National Film and Video Foundation of South Africa, the Copyright Tribunal of Kenya, multi-choice. Star Times, Showmax, Allsberg SPI, Samsung, Gote Institute, Anger Cinema, Royal Tulip, Argyle Grand Hotel, Cameras Africa, Mind Me International, Sony, Jami Telcom, Dormans, Madison Insurance, Ken Bright, Kenya Film and Television Professional Association, Grisel Studios, uh, and The Bar, and Tiki Tiki. All right. As we participate together here, we do know that we're being joined online by 
hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of viewers online. And we'd like you to participate as well. I'm sure you got your pictures taken. You're sitting next to somebody that you like or admire or you think looks really good. Take a picture, post it, and use the following hashtags. We've got hashtag Kalasha Awards 2024 and... And the hashtag the 13th edition 2024. That's hashtag 13th, 13th edition 2024. All right. That said, let's get this show on the road. And we will invite our first speaker with a welcome address. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and let us introduce our captain for the film community, the Kenya Film Commission CEO, Mr. Timothy Owasi. Babu Namamba, CS, Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. The nominees, Kenya Film Commission Board, the diplomatic missions represented here, our partners, the media, filmmakers, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. On the 27th of March 2024, the Kenya Film Commission opened the doors to the 7th edition of Kalasha International Film and TV Market. For the past three days, we have had an interesting engagement, and I want to appreciate all the participants emanating from Kenya, United Kingdom, Uganda, Germany, Rwanda, Tanzania, and the Republic of South Africa. All these wonderful people gathered here in Nairobi to be specific at KICC to transact film business, and it has been quite an exciting uh, three days. Tonight, we gather not only to celebrate our achievements, but also to acknowledge the profound imp impact that cinema has on our lives. During the 13th edition of Kalasha International Film and TV Awards 2024, we cannot help but celebrate how Kalasha Film and TV Awards, and by extension, the film sector has united us, inspired, and ignited our imaginations. But beyond the glitz and glamour of this award ceremony lies a deeper truth. Filmmaking is a calling to illuminate the darkness and to amplify voices, champion the values of empathy, compassion, and understanding. To this, I want to underscore the following, that storytelling enables and has the power to deliver direct, indirect and induced revenues, drive jobs, jobs that cannot be displaced. The screen industry is capable of attracting investment in related industries, marketing the country or a location, and also an enhancement on cultural diplomacy. Storytelling promotes and also acts as a catalyst for screen tourism. Many people watch stories, and beyond watching stories, they make choices as to where to travel next. The film industry promotes a community for cohesion and integration, and has the capacity to influence everything you can think of. Ladies and gentlemen, deliberate efforts are being undertaken by Kenya Film Commission, and in the past one year, we have undertaken a number of initiatives that I would like to highlight just but a few. For the very first time, the Kenya Film Commission, in partnership with the, the German government through GIZ and Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, we were able to launch the first ever film industry satellite account. This account is aimed at championing and enabling the country and the world to get to know how much the film industry is able to contribute to the exchequer. During the same year, the Commission funded 22 projects employing 2,200 filmmakers and engaging 400 interns. This is an opportunity just to show that when you engage in filmmaking, you can be able to create a number of jobs and jobs that you cannot be able to displace. Capacity building 
in counties is another initiative that the Commission continues to drive. And so far as of last year, we, we have trained over 7,000 upcoming filmmakers, and this is work that is continuing. Establishment of film hubs. The Commission has established a film hub in Bomet, currently completing a film hub in Migori. We have an established film hub in Nyeri, and another one coming up in Wasinigishu. The Commission also continues to establish film clubs in schools through a school outreach program because this is an initiative that we believe young people need to be nurtured so that they are able to grow within the ecosystem. The Commission also continues to offer liaison services to our filmmakers so that you can be able to access government services by all means without any struggle because we believe the Commission was established to see to it that as filmmakers, you have a smooth sailing when you are seeking for services from a government office or any county government. We also continue engaging stakeholders in various sectors. We may talk of insurance, uh, we talk about banking, we also talk about filmmaking in different aspects, animation, gaming, and so on and so forth. We are engaging stakeholders because we believe if bank institutions banking institutions stay away from filmmaking, then we as filmmakers, the ecosystem may not be complete. We would like to see to it that filmmakers are able to interact with banking institutions for the ecosystem to be, com to be complete because we need money, money that will be able to propel stories to be told as we progress. With this, I want to underscore the fact that the Commission also established 39 film clubs in schools in eight regions across the country. And this is an initiative that we continue undertaking because we believe young people need to be mentored and to be nurtured so that as they join the film industry at the right age, they are joining the film industry knowing that this is a profession that they can actually be able to undertake other than being distracted by any naysayers that you do not have to be a storyteller, you need to be a lawyer. Lawyers participate in filmmaking, doctors, actually the film industry is the only industry where you'll find a 10 months old and a 90 year old participating in the same space just to be able to give you the form of entertainment. So the commission continues to commit to you that we continue to act as a catalyst for the industry growth and by doing this, we promise that we continue building capacity and capabilities within the industry to attract more investment promote a screening culture in the country. We want to continue funding production through our empowerment programs. By the support of our ministry, we also underscore the fact that the film incentives will be put in place, and when they are in place, we'll have a smooth sailing in terms of automatic film incentives. Accreditation and certification is another critical component that the Commission is keen to see to it that we have an organized and orderly industry. By orderly and organized industry, I'm referring to a situation where we have a code of conduct for all our operations. When we professionalize the film industry, then we'll all be happy because we'll have everything put in order. The Commission has also developed a one-stop shop by way of coming up with an e-film shop, which is a platform that will help filmmakers to access government services through digitization. We believe through this one-stop shop, you can be able to access licensing, you can access the national park if you want to use it as a filming location, and you can also be able to engage and get support in whichever form without having to walk office to office. In addition, the Commission also continues to engage more partners, and I just want to mention a few partners that we are currently engaging. I'll start off with MasterCard, GIZ, the French Embassy, Iranian Embassy, the Chinese Embassy, the American Embassy, British Council, MultiChoice, Star Times, Kenya Bankers Association, the Insurance Regulatory Authority, among others. And tonight, I want to call on you that we are calling you to partner with us so that we champion the film industry to take the pole position as far as the growth and uh, connection of our social fabric is concerned. The film industry has the pole position to give us all that we aspire. 
government digitization of services has given us an opportunity to streamline processes and facilitate filming services with, the, with ease through an e-film shop. As I get to the end, I want to also underscore the fact that the evolution of the film industry extends far beyond content creation. We have witnessed a revolution of in production techniques steered by technological innovation. These innovations have empowered filmmakers to craft immersive experiences, pushing the boundaries of storytelling like never before. And as an industry, we need to adapt to these trends to meet our diverse audiences' experiential needs. Going into the future, the Commission, through its board and supported by the Cabinet Secretary, Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, is shortly going to launch the Kenya Creative Economy Accelerator Program to build grassroots capacities, enhance market access, improve success rates, and create sustainable jobs through youth-led startups and innovations in the creative economy. The second program that the board at Kenya Film Commission intends to launch is a Kenya Film Kenya app, which will provide an avenue for Kenyan content assets to access and also in line with the mantra, Kenya to the world and the world to Kenya, that if you are looking for anything Kenyan content, you should be able to access it through this particular app. Lastly, we are also working hard to see to it that we brand our industry. And I will be reaching out to all of you so that we come up with a unique name or brand name for the Kenyan film industry. As I conclude, allow me to appreciate the following partners for working with us to see to it that we have Kalasha as a success. Multi-choice, Star Times, National Film and Video Foundation of South Africa, Agile Grand Hotel, Osberg SPI, Royal Tulip, Domans, Samsung, Cameras Africa, Mind Me International, Copyright Tribunal, the Gotha Institute, KFTPA, Jamie Telcom, The Bar, Grisel Studios, Anger Studios, Kennybright, and Communications Authority. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, allow me to ask staff of Kenya Film Commission to stand wherever they are. Please rise up. KFC staff. Thank you. Mine is to appreciate these ladies and men that have made this event colorful. What you are seeing is because of the effort that has been put in place by a team at Kenya Film Commission. And we want to commit that we will continue working for you as our stakeholders because that is the mission that you have given us. Let's work together. And with those many remarks, allow me now to take this opportunity and craft our program a little bit and call Dr. Ezekiel Onyango, who is a chairman of the Film Association, to come and give a two-minute word to the industry. Mm. Good evening to the Cabinet Secretary, Honorable Ababu Namwamba, the entire board of the Kenya Film Commission, all CEOs present, my brother and friend Timothy Owase, development partners, nominees, colleagues, friends, Karibuni Sana, thank you. I would like to make a statement that says, all problems that we face in the world today are problems of culture. Whether it's climate change, whether it's health, whatever problem you think of are problems of culture. But we meet today at a very pivotal time when the film and TV industry is the only instrument that is left in the world to influence culture. Yet, today in Kenya, we live at a time when 62% of new HIV infections are occurring between people of the age of 12 and 19. That means that every week about six to seven youth are infected by HIV in Kenya. If you go by that rate and you calculate in 10 years, 
The future workforce of Kenya is in danger. The future economy of Kenya is in danger. So mine is to pose a challenge to all of you. Multi-choice, the commissioners of shows, creatives who are here, filmmakers, I want to pose a challenge to you as we create, as we write our stories, and as we take our content to the world, let our names be written in history as the people who intervened to deal with this thing that might become a risk for the future of Kenya. That said, I would like to thank very much the ministry for allowing us to host the first ever film summit in Kenya post-independence that we held last year under the support of the ministry and the Honorable Cabinet Secretary, and also to thank the Film Commission for ensuring that we now have an umbrella body that will house all of us and ensure the film and TV industry becomes a leader in economic development. Zaidi Ahio, you all look beautiful tonight. I wish all the nominees, let me leave it there. Thank you so much. Asante Nisan. Thank you very much, Dr. Onyango. Now allow me to invite a representative of the international participants at Kalasha. Timothy. Cabinet Secretary, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, nominees. It's such a pleasure for me to be here this week um, on business coinciding with the festival and this awards ceremony. I'm from the UK. I run a creative industries management consultancy. I'm here because we've been hired by the World Bank of the International Finance Corporation to have a deep look at the Kenyan film industry so that they can understand better what are the opportunities to invest in this growing sector. And this mirrors what's happening around the world. The film industry has become recognized as one of the most exciting and potent industries for economic and cultural growth. And this has really accelerated in the last 20 years globally, and certainly here in Kenya, you have a, a ministry, a government that's absolutely recognized this potential and is putting in place strategies and policies to help the film industry grow because it delivers so much value to the public in terms, yes, of economic impacts, uh, levels of activity, that generate higher GDP numbers, certainly the kind of jobs that a country like this are going to, is going to welcome very much, particularly as they are very much considered jobs of the future and jobs that young people really want. These are well-paid jobs, highly skilled, highly mobile, and deliver huge value, as I said. But there are other economic impacts that um, emanate from a successful industry. Massive amounts of inward investment, return on investment for um, incentives and other policy areas that the government puts in place. When a production takes place in the country, it spends huge amounts of money very quickly that, that ripples throughout the economy. Also, of course, this is an industry that has very strong cultural societal value. It also presents to the outside world an, a, a sense of the nation's own brand. We used to call it soft power, but certainly when people around the world see Kenyan stories, Kenyan people, Kenyan locations, Kenyan heritage on screen in a shared entertainment experience, those images, those positive images last a long time. They're latent and they come out maybe years later when people are deciding where to take a vacation, or in business terms, where uh, companies are looking to invest in Kenya. So I congratulate the fact that here in Kenya, you're looking at this industry 
um, as an industry that will play an important part of the growth of your country. I'm very lucky that I happen to be here this week when everything is going on. It's very exciting. Um, I was last in Kenya 40 years ago when I was on holiday, but now I see a country that is vibrant, exciting, excited, and I think the film industry is playing a huge role in that development. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's such a privilege to be here, and I hope you all have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Jonathan. Now allow me to take this opportunity to invite the representative of the Kenya Film Commission Board, Dr. Mlama. Thank you, Bonasio. Allow me first of all to appreciate and thank our host, Bonawaziri Wababu uh, Namwamba, the CS for um, Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. Thank you very much for having us here. We are greatly delighted. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, also to appreciate our CEO for doing such a great job to bring all of us together. In the same breath, appreciate all our partners who have come to be together with us and all our stakeholders uh, who are the filmmakers, who are people who are supporting the industry. I take this opportunity to say thank you for making it happen. And I want to just give a clap to all of you and say you have made it happen. Clap to appreciate. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Um, Waziri, we have had quite an enriching week from the 27th, as it was mentioned by the CEO, all the way to yesterday and today. We, in this space that is here, had a whole market with the creatives parading the great ideas and the great things that they have been able to put together. Our screens, both here and across town, were beaming with films. And just in the next hall across, we had very, very interactive sessions of panel discussions. So it has been a very productive week. And as I said, the event was big enough to speak for itself. And we are here seated, having seen what this international, this Kalasha um, a film and TV international festival has been. So we are grateful, and all that could not have been achieved without the input of each and every one of you. As the CEO has listed, our partners, we really treasure you. We would not have made these great strides without the support that we have received from each and every one of you. Um, Waziri, these people seated here, other than the partners, could not have made any step in bringing to us their creative work without the commendable support from the ministry, from the, right from the office of the president to the office of the CS, we have received a lot of support and we want to fully appreciate that. And ladies and gentlemen, the partners that you have had read to us, it may have sounded like a list, but they are faces behind the list that you had read. I've interacted with a good number of them, and we really appreciate those great men and women for the work they are doing. Were it not for their input, really, we would not have talked of the market, we would not have talked of the films that we are screening, we would not have talked of the panel discussions that we fully appreciate. And to you, I say kudos and thank you. Uh, Waziri, sometimes when we talk about these creatives and when we talk about the film culture, somebody out there could be seated thinking that we are talking of a very small, a very narrow thing. This initiative of building the creatives is a big thing. It's bigger than any one of us would imagine. Traditionally, we have trained our young people to look for jobs, 
I am from the academia, and for the last over two decades, we have been training our people, telling them to go and get jobs out there. But what is happening with the creatives now is an alternative that is giving a solution to a very huge problem. Because we are telling our young people, those that we are training, that we are training you to go and create jobs. Governments the world over are struggling to create jobs. But what we have realized is that the best way to find a job is to create one. And that is what we are doing with the creatives. And so we really appreciate the work that is going on. From where I sit with my colleagues on the board, we think so seriously about these things. When the CEO talks of the initiatives that we are making, we give it a serious thought because for us, it is not about organizing festivals and everything. It is about putting in place initiatives that will transform lives through winning people livelihoods. So that is what we are about, that is what the creatives are about, and that is what the film industry is about and means to us. And so, Waziri, we are grateful that the government has not been sending mixed signals on this matter. You have been forthright, the president has been forthright, that we must support the creatives. Because we realize we can shout the much we want about creating jobs, but if we are not supporting the talents and the young people and the many people who are going out to create jobs, then we will not achieve that initiative. It begins as an idea, it is a whole philosophy, and indeed as we look at the work that has gone on, we are headed for greater and more beautiful times ahead. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, because as I talk of the things that we are thinking through as a commission, Waziri, you'll remember, late last year you commissioned a team of seven men and women, and to them we have one added, and we are a total of eight, thinking through how to give policy direction and policy oversight, thinking through the programs and initiatives to see how we can push this commission and the film industry forward. I would be unfair not to request my colleagues to stand so that we get to see the great men and women with whom we are driving this special will. I request my colleagues from the board to be upstanding. I'll mention them by name uh, before I conclude my remarks and welcome Waziri to address us. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, as the CEO and management and his team push the operations, the men that I quickly introduced to you push the will of policy and oversight. On my extreme left, I have Commissioner Lucia Nzongo. Thank you. After her, I have got Commissioner Peter Njeroge. Thank you. Then we have Commissioner Catherine Mumbi. We have Commissioner Naomi Gishemba. And we have Commissioner Ilham Tysir. Thank you. I've got a colleague. Because of the role she plays on the board, she has opted to introduce herself in silence. And we have also Commissioner Vincent Onyango, who is the alternate representing the PS on the board. Now, I just want to reiterate the commitment that we have to drive the film industry to creating jobs. And we tell parents, wherever they are, and guardians, that we are no longer pushing so strongly for the traditional careers. We are opening this space and telling our young people, you can carve your living out of film and out of the creatives. So thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as I conclude before I welcome Waziri to address us, allow me to congratulate the nominees in advance. 
as we will hear them unfolded, I take this opportunity on behalf of the board to congratulate you for the great work that you have put in. I know we will see it unfold as time comes. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your kind attention. I want to take this opportunity, this very special opportunity, to invite to us our chief host, the Honorable CS for Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, Honorable Ababu Namwamba. Thank you. Let me, in a very special way, say that I'm delighted to be here. I have run away from Vasha just to be here for the Kalashas. That is how special the Kalashas are. And I must say that uh, it is actually a good decision I met. You're looking amazing. It's absolutely a beautiful occasion. And I want to start by acknowledging the Kenya Film Commission Board, members who are here, and they've been introduced to us, and the CEO of uh, the commission, um, our irrepressible and uh, very, very effective uh, uh, brother, Timothy Wase, all our guests, the dignitaries that have joined us this evening, the Kalasha Awards Academy, led by Lucy Mwangi, all the esteemed filmmakers, and of course, the nominees for whom we are gathered here this evening, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It is a very special honor for me to join you here tonight for the 13th Clasha International NTV Awards. We are here to celebrate the creme de la creme of the Kenyan film industry, the men and women who light up our silver screens, lifting our beings and souls with the cheer, thrills, and spills of top entertainment. The Kalasha Awards epitomize achievement and recognition in our film industry showcasing how accolades can propel careers and open doors to limitless opportunities. I commend the Kenya Film Commission for the dedication in maintaining the highest standards that underpin the Kalashas. I equally extend government's appreciation to all stakeholders who have partnered with us I can assure you that your support has been invaluable in delivering this event. And uh, at the risk of appearing repetitive, I really want to mention the same cohort of partners that uh, the CEO paid tribute to, all you corporate partners that have made it possible for us to put together this enchanting occasion. Um, Star Times, Multi-Choice, multi Old Bag SPI, Samsung, Copyright Tribunal, Communication Authority of Kenya, Camera South Africa, NFVF South Africa, Royal Tulip Hotel, and Angus Cinemas, we say Asante Nisana. Thank you very much for your partnership. To the visiting delegations and delegates from the region, Karibuni, Kenya, this is the land of Hakuna Matata. I hope that you have sampled some of the attractions here in Nairobi, our green city in the sun. If you haven't yet, don't go before you do. Ladies and gentlemen, as we revel in the festivities tonight, let us be reminded of the economic potential that the film industry bears not only in terms of job creation, but also in shaping our cultural identity and fostering a creativity. 
You know, when we hosted the very historic State of Film Summit last year, I challenged the film ecosystem to move towards transforming into a full-blown industry. And we went through a checklist on what it means to be an industry. And I repeat tonight, we must bloom into a full-blown industry. I was telling my president the other day, my boss, that the film industry and the creatives economy in general is not even a low-hanging fruit. It is a fruit already lying on the ground. All it needs is to be picked up and we enjoy it is benefits. And, 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 and really, I believe in that. That's not just cliche. It's not to, to please you, to make you happy. The creative economy, the film industry, is something whose benefits are immense. Absolutely immense. And um, we will make it happen, trust me. We certainly will make it happen. I want to urge all of us to take a moment to appreciate the remarkable storytelling prowess of our filmmakers whose narratives resonate deeply with the fabric of our society. Their work serves as a testament to the rich tapestry of Kenyan culture. We remain steadfast in our commitment to providing a robust legislative and policy framework for the film industry, one that will nurture talent, facilitate growth, and provide incentives for innovation. We have just finished the very rigorous public participation process around the creative economy policy and the creative industries bill, a piece of legislation anchored by a robust policy framework that should really enable us to fly the creative economy where it belongs. And, and it's the whole ecosystem from film to music to theater, fashion, pageantry, that whole ecosystem. We have now anchored that on a robust policy and a full-blown legislative framework in the form of a bill that we should be progressing to parliament any time, any time now. And my ministry has been at the forefront really in fostering not only this anchorage on policy and legislation, but also in forging valuable partnerships locally, regionally, globally, to elevate our creative space and transform it into a profitable industry. Recently, I personally, on behalf of the government of Kenya, inked, signed deals, agreements with the governments of South Africa and government of China to enhance our film sector. We have also entered into partnership with the Invention Studios, and I traveled to Los Angeles in person to sign this deal with Invention Studios that has opened a whole world of opportunities for yourselves and our partners in the American ecosystem, which really should make it possible for local productions to be showcased globally. And um, my partner in this crime, Mr. Weinstock, was actually in Nairobi uh, a month ago and we hosted um, a forum attended by quite a good number of yourselves, and you witnessed the passion, the commitment, the belief of uh, Invention Studios, and I can tell you that extends to many other partners that we've been able to put together uh, in, this, in this ecosystem. And I can assure you that um, we are going even further than that. We have developed a policy framework to provide incentives for potential investors in the film industry. And we are at a very advanced stage of concluding discussions with the Treasury before presenting this incentives framework to Cabinet for approval. <clears throat> we 
we are giving top priority to these incentives from work because for the last year and a half, every partner I engage, they raise issues which on the face of it are quite basic. Issues like tax rebates on their investment, ease of access, visa, how do you come in and go out? How easily do I bring in equipment and take it out? Basic stuff, customs, and we have consolidated all those issues into a framework, an incentives framework, which we have convinced Treasury that that incentives framework will be the ignition to unleash the full potential of, of the film industry in this country. And as soon as we finish our conversation with Treasury, it is heading to Cabinet in the form of a formal white paper that then can carry the full weight of, of, of government. Let me assure you, good people, in initiatives such as bringing Halu to Kenya, opening up our scenic landscapes for filmmakers, demonstrate our commitment to nurturing local talent, and showcasing the beauty of our country on the global stage. While co-production agreements that we have signed with South Africa, with China, signify a strategic approach to expanding the reach and impact of Kenyan cinema, I'm very happy that even the African um, uh, Audiovisual Commission the African Audiovisual Commission is going to be hosted right here in, in, in Nairobi, in Kenya, which for me again offers us as a country an incredible platform to bring to life our very Pan-African, our very cross-border approach to this industry and to the creative economy in general. Ladies and gentlemen, my ministry is focused on developing a policy framework to incentivize investors in the film industry. It's a crucial step towards sustainability and growth. As we finalize discussions with Treasury and move towards submitting the policy framework to Cabinet for adoption, I'm convinced that our vision for the creative arts continues to bear fruit, ensuring that talented Kenyans have the support they need to thrive and that Pesam Fukoni becomes a reality for many more. That's our mantra, Talanta Hela Pesam Fukoni. If it's not Pesam Fukoni for you, then it's just an empty story. And we don't want stories at Jabba Hapa. We want real things that put real money in people's pockets and transform lifestyles and transform livelihoods. So remember that, Talanta Hela Pesam Fukoni. That is why at the last Kalashas last year, I announced a doubling of the cash awards. And I know that last year, there was some lag between the, the cash award and the actual person Fukoni in your pocket. I have made arrangements that this year, and I've told Timothy, I don't want any lag. It should be Talanta Hela Pesam Fukoni in real time for these guys. They don't want to wait. And um, the implementation of these structure rewards and recognition system underscores our commitment to honoring the contribution that you make, you creatives, you artists make, to enrich our lives through your work. And we must continue, we must continue enhancing the package that is available to you through, through these awards. Our youth are the heartbeat of our nation. And it's incumbent upon us to empower them with the resources and opportunities they need to thrive in the film industry. We applaud initiatives such as the Kalasha Market and Awards, which play a crucial role in shaping the next generation of storytellers. I want this evening to celebrate Kenyan innovators whose creations are proving that we can provide local solutions through locally assembled material. I am so excited that some of the equipment being used in this room tonight is actually 
an invention of young Kenyan innovators. And, and, and really, this is something I want to assure you, and you have put together a very robust program through the Kenya National Innovation Agency, which is an agency under my ministry to support that whole ecosystem. We are at a very advanced stage with the startup bill, which is to support that ecosystem of innovation. So you guys who are creating equipment and material that can help to make it cheaper to run this ecosystem, you are in a good space. And our eye is on you, and we will support you fully. And that is why we are set to launch an accelerator program for the creative industries. Talanta Stories will address the entire ecosystem from creation to business under what we are calling the Kenya Creative Economy Accelerator Problem, the KCEAP. Ladies and gentlemen, sports and arts have the power to transcend barriers and inspire change, and I urge all of us to harness this power to build a more inclusive and prosperous Kenya. To our esteemed guests from the region, I hope you've had the time to really mingle in this beautiful city, and to all our filmmakers here tonight, I extend my sincere gratitude for your tireless dedication and unwavering, unwavering passion. You are the driving force behind our industry's success, and tonight we celebrate each and every one of you and say, Hongera. Thank you to the jury, the dedicated staff of the Kenya Film Commission, our partners, the media, for your unwavering support. Remember tonight, we are all winners, all of us who make this ecosystem tick. We are all winners. And our media, you can see our media gathered here in good numbers. I sing about this every time I get an opportunity. Local content, local content, local content. Let us give prominence to local content. It is pointless to invest so much time and effort to produce and then relegate our productions, which are of far superior quality to some things you go picking up in Acapulco and other places. Air Kenyan content to support this industry. <laughs> Hongera, everybody, and congratulations to all the nominees and the winners. Asante Nisana. Asante Sana, Honorable Cabinet Secretary. Let's give him another round of applause. Indeed, tonight we have gathered to echo the CS's words to celebrate the creme de la creme of Kenyan creatives in the film and television sector. He has made mention of the creative economy and just what that means. And I'll tell you what it means to me. Everybody gathered here tonight is a part of the creative economy. Four years ago, the world stopped and life changed. The future of work as we knew it was gone and innovated and built upon and we cannot go back to what used to be. It is all about what is and the creative economy truly is the future. It starts with everybody who's gathered here and we salute you and celebrate you. Absolutely. Another round of applause again for the CS as he echoed local content, local content, local content. I can tell you for a fact, many of us in these many years since we started out in this local scene until where we are, we've lived off of it. We've taken our kids to school. <laughs> we have grown into it. That is what he says, local content. If you don't believe more so, Ken Ambani is sitting right there. That's local content. <laughs> believe that.
And so we begin with tonight's awards. And for that start, we'll throw it across the room to Claudia and Fareed. All right, thank you very, very, very much, Sheila and Mark Ball. And of course, thank you, Honorable CS, for that wonderful speech. And all the speakers who have uh, taken the stage already this evening, super excited about the 13th edition of the Kalasha International Television and I'm Film as excited Awards. as you are. Yes. Now, I want to be given credit. For With what? you, you're holding um, the Samsung Z Fold. I am. And as the, is it millennial, is it? Tell me, where do I place you? I think you? I'm one above millennial, but I don't Okay, know. yeah. Um, as creators, we like being given credit. So please, give me my credit. I taught you how to use this, guys. Yeah, there's a slight age difference between you and I. Mm. I think I've been in slight. the industry longer yeah, than you've been alive. Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the awards. Everyone ready to get on with the 13th edition of the Clash International Film and Television Awards? Because that's going to happen right now. What's the first category? The first category is Best Lighting Technician. And ladies and gentlemen, this award is for the person who is responsible for creating the look and feel of a production. They work closely with directors, cinematographers, producers, set designers, and other members of the creative team to determine how the light will be used in each scene. For the Best Lighting Technician, here are your nominees. Category of Best Lighting Technician. The nominees are Jordan Daniels, Where the River Divides, Joseph Churu, Act of Love, Jethro Omusieni, Half Open Window, Gregory Kiwo, A Familiar Bus. And so let's invite over to the stage Mr. Peter Kawa, a film producer, actor, and CEO at Spearhead Entertainment, to hand over the first award to the first winner of the night. So two days ago, at the film market, I met a gentleman called Walter Odhiambo. He's a three-time Kalasha Award winner. And we had a very light chat. And I told him, thank God you've been doing international films for the past two days, I mean two years. So that means you don't get to be nominated and win automatically in this year. So I can confidently confirm that this envelope does not have Walter Odhiambo's name. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to announce to you the winner of Best Lighting Technician, and that would be Joseph Shuru, Act of Love. A big round of applause for the evening's first winner. Congratulations to Joseph Churu from Act of Love. We now move on to our next category, and this one is the Best Special Effects category. It's an award for the Master in Artificial Visual Effects, stimulating imagined events, contributing to the visual experience of the audience. Here are this year's nominees. In the category of Best Special Effects, the nominees are Jirongo Luyali, The War Within, Omar Hamza, Itifaki, David Yalenga, Where the River Divides, Gladys Njeri, Bazenga, and B. Maina Wanjohi, Mvera.
And here to present this award is Mr. Patrick Ngeri from the National Executive Committee member of the Kenya Music and Cultural Festival. Please welcome him and give him a big round of applause. Special effects winner, Omar Hamza Itifaki. Congratulations to you. Awesome, Omar Hamza. We'll skip a bit forward and award this amazing piece, the Lifetime Achievement, which has been in the film industry for over 29 years and has worked on over 30 feature films, including two Oscars, uh, including Noah in Africa in 2001, In a Better World in 2011, and Golden Globe in a Better World in the same year and over 50 TV commercials, including Suzuki, CBA, Airtel, Rabobank, Humana, among many others. Featured as well, over 30 TV films, series, and reality shows, Bogan, BBC, Taking the Flag, Banged Up Abroad, amongst many others, also serviced countless documentaries. And we'd like to call upon stage to award this one. Tafadali, Buona CS. Honorable CS of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports, we'd like to request that you come up to the stage to present this probably once in a lifetime achievement. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Oh. Sorry. Pole Sana. All right. But I'm telling you, this is what my youth gives you. <laughs> You're not just going to fall. You will keep running and keep moving forward. Absolutely. All of us, Kesho Tukoji, Jim. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. May we have the winner, please? We'd like the envelope with the name of our Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Okay. And the Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Jenny Pont, a contact. Productions. Let us all rise up. Let us honor our Lifetime Achievement Award winner with a standing ovation. First we take the photos, and then we hear a word or two from an award winner. Extraordinaire. Um, thank you, thank you Kalasha. I can't believe that um, I was on the first board of Kenya Film Commission and we had our first board meetings under a tree because we didn't have an office. And to see this tonight is just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and what a wonderful, vibrant, young film um, business we have now. I'm really excited about it. Onward and upward.
Asante sana. Thank you, Honorable CS. You may take your seat. And our Lifetime Award winner, one more round of applause for her. This creative economy truly starts at birth. Many of you here began your acting, your singing, your writing, your production career when you were very young. And you all represent the hopes and dreams of young Kenya, but you're also telling the story of all Kenya. Another round of applause for yourselves. Right, so on with the show. Next up, the next category is... The Best Special Effects Category. This is an award for the master. Oh no, we've just done that. Right? We have done that. Shall we skip on? Uh, yes, please. And go into the best editor. This an award is for the guru who is uh, responsible for managing and bringing together the footage, dialogue, sound effect, graphics, and special effects, produce, and final film. Basically, the masterminds behind the scenes. And the nominees are... In the category of best editor, the nominees are... Hannah Wangari, A Familiar Christmas. Kome Mwirabua, Act of Love. Omar Hamza, Itifaki. MD Nili, Derek Hameke, In Where the River Divides. Steve Biko, Murdered for Love. And here to present the award, I'd like to request Dr. Ezekiel Onyango, the chairperson of the Kenya Film and Television Professionals Association, to hand over the award. And I'll tell you what, tonight, the winner in this category gets 50,000 shillings as well from MultiChoice. We'd like to have the envelope Tafadali. The winner this year, Kalasha, for best editing comes from the production called Act of Love and is none other than Kome Mwirebao. Tafadali, come up for your award. And remember, this comes with 50,000 shillings. Karibu to the stage. I'll be very happy to receive it on your behalf. <laughs> I, I can receive the cash. <laughs> it's from multi-choice. I'll hold on to it for you if you don't make it tonight. <laughs> A big round of applause, Tafadali. Congratulations to you. And thank you very much to MultiChoice for this wonderful cash incentive of 50,000 shillings. Awesome. On with the show. And the next category as we skip on. Best Supporting Actor in a Film Award if for an actor who has delivered an outstanding performance in support of the main character. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are... In the category of Best Supporting Actor in a Film, the nominees are... Samson Omondi as Adili in Half Open Window. Jock Hulk Shiramutinda as Agent John in Itifaki. Benjamin Onyango as a cult in Where the River Divides. 
Michael Oluoch as Jawinam in Agonda and Franco Gutu as Otile in Tembe. And here to present that award, would like to request Ms. Faith Kingola, the Marketing and Communications Representative, Africa, Vietnam and Poland, from Transperfect Media, to come through. Thank you. And we'd like the usher with the envelope to please come up as well to present this envelope and the award. This particular category also features a surprise gift as well. A 55-inch television from Star Times Kenya. And this year's Best Supporting Actor in a Film, Jack Hulk Shira Mutinda. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations. Jack B. Nimble. Jack B. Quick. Very, very well done to you. Mr. Jack Mutinda, also known as Hulk Shira. Better known as an actor, even better as an influencer. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, let me just give you a brief story. Growing up, I was brought up by a single mom. We lived in a two-roomed house. The first room was the salon where she used to make her source of livelihood. The second one served as our living room, our bedroom, our kitchen, and sometimes my bathroom. I remember a day I asked her, why have you never bought a TV? She was like, there's no way I can buy a TV when you're next to me. I mean, you're too much entertainment. I can't handle you and a TV. So since that day, it was my dream to become an actor. But never in my wildest imagination did I ever dream of one day standing on the stage and be recognized as one of the best in the country. So this award goes out to all the kids out there, all the people out there who have all the odds against them. Believe in yourself, have passion, never stop at anything, and you'll get this. And last but not least, she's not here to see this, but she's always been my anchor and support. Mom, this is for you. Congratulations to you. Karibu sana. Very well done. Don't forget your bag. And your TV. Utabeba <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Utabeba TV. Uh, well, uh, they'll bring it. Don't worry. Concert. They'll bring it. Just take a photo with it. Photo model is a must. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Leo Atulali. <laughs> Congratulations to you. We move on to our next category, and this is the Best Supporting Actress in a Film. It is a category that awards the actress who has delivered an outstanding performance in support of the main character. Here are this year's nominees. In the category of Best Supporting Actress in a Film, the nominees are... Wangui Moirori. As Imani in Half Open Window. Kibibi Salim as Saumu in Vera. Brenda Mwai as Mili Chanya in The Caller. Ruth Kamanzi as Immaculate in A Familiar Christmas. Anne Muli as Koki in Madakamp. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have the award in the envelope coming up as... 
We have the chairperson, executive director, Kenya International Theatres, Kenya Theatres Award to hand over the award, Mr. Benson Gobia. This award comes with a 55-inch television and a voucher for two at the Royal Tulip. And the winner is Brenda Mwai, Mili Chanya in the Collar. Congratulations to you, Brenda Mwai. Best Supporting Actress in a Film, Brenda, what's happening? Um, I think you're going to pick it up on behalf of that's Brenda. Brian. Uh, sorry, uh, Brenda couldn't be here. She had a parenting emergency. But I shall receive the TV on her behalf. And who might you be? <laughs> who are you? Who are you and who might you be? Uh, 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 my name is Brian Munene. Uh, Mpesa number 0725. <laughs> um, Brian Munene, I was the producer and writer for The Caller. Um, this is an honor for her. It was her first nomination. I do not know how that phone call will be, but we will see. <laughs> well, we'd like you to take a picture just in case. <laughs> Brenda asks you guys. <laughs> and maybe leave the TV. And very well done to you, Brenda. Her first nomination ever, and it comes with the first win. Have you ever won a Kalasha, Makpo? So, I, the interesting story is, I've been nominated once on the second edition of the Kalashas. I hosted the fifth, wasn't nominated. I hosted the eighth, wasn't nominated. I'm hosting the 13th, guess what? But seriously, Makbo, did you really think you were going to stand here and say, ladies and gentlemen, here are the nominees, including myself. Including myself. <laughs> and I've just won, so hold the mic, Sheila, I'm going to win. Nonetheless, an amazing wealth of talent, and I am honored to be part of them. Speaking of talent, we've got two co-hosts on the extreme end, and I'd like to throw us back to Claudia and Farid as we continue with tonight's ceremony. All right, thanks very much, uh, Sheila and Mark Bull, and congratulations to all our winners so far, and to all the nominees. We've got a number of categories to get through uh, and continue, plus some entertainment as well. And Claudia is somewhere in this crowd. I'm right behind you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I just decided to blend in with the stars. As you can see, I'm in a table. And in this table, we have Eugene Bugwa, Sarah Hassan, Rao Joel, Brenda Wairimu. You can also see Lulu Hassan. So it's a star-studded table. But there's someone who really stood out for me, all right? She's from South Africa, from the Africa Creative Agency. She's the one who discovered Tyler, if I do say so myself. And um, she's very uh, much in support of the Kenya creative industry. Now, she's called Cabello. And I was just asking her on the side, who are you rooting for tonight? Who are your favorites? Which category are you looking forward to? Wow, I don't have a favorite because I feel like, you know, when a mother has children, she can't choose her favorite child. So I'm just wishing everyone luck and thank you for having me here. So there is no particular person you want to shout out? Okay, got it. Cabello, thank you so much. And um, right next to her is Eugene Bugwa. This guy <laughs> has a oh, whole category yeah, to himself. That, please. <laughs> yeah, this he has a idea. Sorry. He has a whole category to himself. So Eugene Bugwa, apart from you, who are you rooting for tonight? I'm rooting for Cabello. I'm rooting for Cabello. You guys are playing jokes with me now. Uh -uh, I don't want this. Anyway, let me throw it back to you so that you can invite the performing act. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we do have entertainment as well as more awards to give away. But right now, put your hands together for Okello Max. Mama, I'm not 
zero kajiran, sani wone ngane baba nani. Madue ya, apake sule manu chika ire, kendo ayego, sembo nani yonge gari chokite, onyako mami nguana, ay, ahero sana, silwa almama na, ya bata mago ya kakoyo chama. Mkota, ya sembo nani mkota, nima embasana, mga kora, Biu ya mugambo ikili ya kuna jambo Uwoto gola turugi banjo adhi ya sembo Ani ya seko yudo ngeti na jamani Jomane nena mihuni Mamara wakatero kajirani Sani wone ngane baba nani Maduwe ya Apake sule manu chika ire Kendo ayego Sembo nani yonge gari chokite Onyako mami nguana Ay, ahero sana Silo almama na Ya bata mabo ya kakoyo chama Mkota, ya sembo nani mkota Nima embasana Mga kora, finga nani mga kora Ye mama Mkota, ya sembo nani mkota Shirio, shirio. Jatu kama temo na tienda rapundo nya pini mabor. Mami o, mami o. Oti kagi era tinda parika nindo tera. Di chol my dalo, my dalo me sunge jiri. Into na sungi forever. You want a my dalo, my dalo me sungi jo ma bed. I na sungo you forever. Mokota, na se mono mokota. Ima embasa na, mega kora, mega na le no mega kora. Iye mama, mokota, na se mono mokota. Ima embasa na, mega kora, mega na le no mega kora. Aja kini. Distinguished guests, who's feeling hungry? Just a little bit. Anybody feeling hungry? Put your hand up. There's no shame in this game. <laughs> Food, what, what, hands in the air. Who, who, who? Natum, ime pikwa kupikwa leo, eh? yes, those are my people. Now, what's going to happen is our ushers are going to come to each table so that we're not over there going crazy trying to stuff watermelon, na juice, na chapati, na mchele. And even so, please, if that's what makes your heart happy, sinilazima, na siyo tafadhali. So the ushers are coming over to allow us an opportunity to get some food because the night is still young and when the award ceremony is done, we must go dancing. Oh, dancing? Is it just me who? Am I from a generation that dances? What's going on? I think this is hunger, Makbo. It totally is. It totally is. 
and then there's no more discotheque. Umeita nini? Discotheque. They don't even know what I just said. Makbola I'm team young. I'm team a creative economy. Hatuzeki huku. Discotheque we. Discotheque we. All right. I think our performer will be gracing the stage a little later. Indeed. And we still have, apart from Okelo Max, uh, we still have uh, Nviri, fans of Nviri? Absolutely, there you go. All right, now you know, this whole week marked several firsts and very significant occurrences as we celebrate the award ceremony tonight. Who made it to the market event? Show of hands. You know, that market had all kinds of fantastic activities. There was an exhibition. There were also presentations in the name of master classes. Exactly. Where we get to showcase and listen to the best of the best, present innovative skills and tips and tricks as well. Did you make it? I didn't make it, but I saw some of the clips that were there. Inf interesting conversations happening in and around the future of acting in Kenya as well. As we know, technology is taking over, and there was an interesting debate about AI and how it might be taking over creativity, but also at the same time trying to merge with the systems. It's going to be a very interesting time in the future. All right. When I see videos online, sometimes it becomes very difficult to tell the difference between something real and, someone, and something that is AI generated. Do you think they'll succeed our Kenyan mannerisms with AI? <laughs> might be a bit difficult. I'm telling you my big top thing to look out for. The day they can perfect AI that says, me I think. <laughs> me I. Me I know. <laughs> Then we're really in trouble. Yes, 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 absolutely. And a round of applause for all the guys who are there, some of the panelists who made it possible for this. Uh, my good friend, Mr. Dr. Ezekiel Onyango. Makofi tafadhali to Dr. Ezekiel Onyango. A very so, big... what, what, what a lot of people don't know is we started together with uh, Dr. Ezekiel Onyango at KBC. For those who remember 20, many years ago, uh, a show called Reflections when we were young and nimble. And here we are now. Still young and nimble. Why are you aging yourself? I'm, I'm just saying, it's been a minute. But it's okay to age. <laughs> we age gracefully. Absolutely. Now, tonight's categories will feature winners from children's um, productions. We are looking at, of course, we've done lighting. Indeed. We've got documentaries. We've got, of course, the actors and the actresses. We've already celebrated the Lifetime Achievement Award, and there's still more to come. Absolutely. First of all, I'd like to honor some of the people who are in this room. Like I said earlier on, if all of you remember back in the day, Tausi, Makofi Tavadali to Ken Ambani. Good sir, you never seem to age. You never seem to age, my good man. And now in Mombasa County, part of the Mombasa County, and of course, making waves uh, in terms of the creative spaces as well. Hey, now as dinner is being served, we are ready for tonight's first, actually not first, second entertainer on stage. Fantastic. We just heard his song. All right, okay, hello. He's already done press ups, Nini. Where is he? Do you le pale? Eh? You don't know Okelo Max? Hey, I have to see him first. I can't believe. Is, is he there? Okay, Lo, are you there? Tafadali, he's ready. Let's go, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, Lo, come on stage. Come on stage so we can believe you're here. As well, we've got the Sarakasi dancers lined up. Sarakasi dancers? We've got the Sarakasi dancers as well a little later. But first, Okelo Max, welcome to the stage. Mama, I'm a 
Sani won kane baba nani DJ shikilia tafadhali anza tena Aha how are you ni How are you ni My name is Okelo Max and I'm here to entertain you for the night for only 2 minutes Tafadhali DJ nipe mambo yangu I hope you make a candle in your symbol. I'm on stand, I'm Rembo. Anya seko you don't get na jamani Jomane ne na mihuni Mama rao katero kajirani Sani wun ngane baba nani Manuwea Apake sule mano chika ire Kendo ayeko Sembona ni yonge gari tokite Onyako mami ngwana Ahero sana Silo anu mamana Ya bata mabo ya kakoyo chama Mamio, mamio Otie kagiera tinda parigani dotera Dichon maendalo Maendalo misunge niri Ito nasungi forever Nyiwoda maendalo Maendalo misunge jomaber Anasungo you forever Oromo ngoda Yasembo noromo Nima embasi na Hai That's just some simple French. I say, Nyasembo, that is my wife. Umetoshana na mimi. Kama umeka kande ya mrembo mwambie, wewe ni mbasna. Wewe ni size yangu. Sawa, nipatie number two. Hii kwanza, kama imekubamba, tafadhali utasimama tu, hii ni mziki bila jasho. Na kufa. Ah. Sheri kimula mimi na kufa Ani nyajo moko mami toyo fuendena Ahero sana piliru ndoga wia Nyati jomo kadiri lalo gabacha Todonga dengo tika yudo konyurokna Aniwe ya uru monda sunge jabata Opongto mola toti unani malisa Nisi na wewe milele mpaka kufa Unisalie watoto mama Na kuwaidi utoko sa Aye hitho kode monda ketie kuone mesa Aseko ye inkora teri mosanyola mama na Muziki santima, muziki bila jasho Ayy Sheri, mama, baby, na kufa na kufa na kufa, na 
kufa na kufa na kufa sheri mama baby na kufa na kufa na kufa na kufa na kufa na kufa my mama sheri usiniache nitakufa eh kila unaponipigia simu lazima nitakuja ukisema nikuje jioni nitanunua chupa mama lolo tupendane mpaka kufa oh sheri mapenzi ya leo naogopa kwanza warembo wangolopa wameweka mitego kwenye mapa oh lord ila ukinitega sitaukata nitakopa eh Nitaiba mama nitachanga nitaima oh 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 tupendane mpaka kufa yes sing with me mama na kufa na kufa na kufa na kufa na kufa na kufa sheri mama baby na kufa na kufa na kufa na kufa na kufa baby baby nishaachana na mafomu za ashura baby hata na fula namba yake nimefuta na kuwashua eh usiku silali naona sura yako mrembo daily natamani wako ningekuwa visible na testo na rada kila nikikuona na huyu jamaa kweli mama unanifaa waniua How do I live without you baby Nenya hube wange nipeleke eregi kwa mama ni mweleze na baba that I need you in my life naona wivu when i see you girl in hands kama mwezi usiku baby you know you're the one spare mama Sheri Mama Baby Na kufa na kufa na kufa Asante sana Ah Sijui niachie hapo ama nipige moja ya mwisho Ya mwisho ama niende na hapo <laughs> Tunaweza sikia kelele kidogo kwa majirani Nipatie hiyo 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 next DJ ni tuangie Santuri. Aye. Hapa lakini hakuna majirani but tutawapata. Mtoto ya Pamela. Nasikia kelele kwa jirani. Kwa nini vita ama hii ni raha gani? Mwingine anasema a, mwingine anasema u. Kwa nini mapenzi yamegeuzwa kwa kumfuna vile kwangu kuna bo? Nasikiza ma Franco people lot itanifanya niwe action night watoto alale by nine ni kudunge vaccine leo movie ni ya Shaolin vita vya kikungu kungu DJ Afro kuja utangaze drama vita vya kichinku Chinku kabla mechi yanze mgongo nitakukanda tumefungana pingu pingu moja kwa mgu nyingine kwa kitanda okelo okay, mano kungfu kungfu biene mena kungfu kungfu ati woi woi mama woi woi mama unazunguka kama nyoka anakonda woi woi mama woi woi mama unatereza kama mrenda 
Aki ni mependa, kisi pera Bile na ipenda, mixi ya broila na kenyeji Vibes, ebu geuza Osheri samaki ya iliwi pande moja Action, action nice Ufike kwangu by nine Nimete mataxi Na amenyo wa Shaolin Halo Vita vya ki kung fu Kung fu DJ Afro kuja utanga ze drama Vita vya ki chinku Chinku kabla mechi enzi mgongo nita kukanda Tumefunga na pingu Bingu, moja kwa mgu nyingine kwa kitanda Okelo mano kungfu Na suda mano kungfu Sheri ni peleke Thailand Na mimi ni kupeleke Bangkok Tuishi juu ya island Tuishi maisha ya kiba ilando Kuja tufanye mambo, mambo Ni kukunje, ni kufunze ango, ango Movie na soundtrack ya bango, bango Action unapewa ni ya rambo Action night Ufike kwangu by nine Halo Nimete mataxin Na amenyo wa shaolin Mambo safi kabisa Vita vya ki kungfu Kungfu DJ Afro kuja utangaze drama Vita vya ki chinku Chinku, kabla mechi yanzi mgongo nita kukanda Tumefunga na pingu, pingu Moja kwa mgu nyingine kwa kitanda Okelo mano kungfu BNM na kungfu Na suda mano kungfu Kungfu Thank you so much, my name is Okelo Max You can stream my music everywhere I love you all Have a good night guys Another big round of applause. Another big round of applause, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. To my talk, talk, warembo wangolova. To my skillsa kung fu. Which one was your best song? The first one, the second, all of them. Zote. Uh, meanwhile, I love the way there's a fantastic, dignified moment right here, enjoying the music on that corner over there. Sema kujiwachilia. There you go. I'm telling you, the winners, <laughs> they have every reason to celebrate tonight. But everybody is a winner. Congratulations to all nominees. To be here tonight and celebrate your achievements is a pleasure and an honor. But music is an integral part of the creative industry. And when we watch our favorite films and TV shows, there's always a little music. Absolutely, it makes part of the creative aspect of it. Whenever you're watching a movie, the moving moments where the character may be down or they may be up, music supports that and makes it even better. Right, which brings us to our category of the best original score. This is an award for a piece of music written and tailored to guide and enhance the emotion and mood of a specific film. And here are this year's nominees. And the nominees are Alex Mugenda, Huvera, Israel Bandon, an instant dad. Lucas Munali, act of love. Kali McKiston, where the river divides. And Lad Biomes, Agonda. Fantastic. And as the award comes on stage, we'd like to call upon Mr. Frederick Karumba, aka DJ Crowbar, to come present the award to the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, how is everyone doing tonight? This bunch of guys named up here are very talented human beings and they have a very special skill of taking something serious and make it funny or make something funny turn absolutely serious. Let's get to see who's this amazing magician with us tonight. All right, the best original score was done by Mr. Israel 
Brandon. A round of applause as the gentleman rises up. All right, is he around? Israel? Or someone to collect the award on his behalf? All right, there's someone coming in. All right, there's a lady coming. All right, Kuja. Uh, Brandon wasn't here to, uh, wasn't able to make it, but uh, we are very excited to be getting this award. <laughs> Thank you very much, DJ Crowbar. We move on to our next category, Still on Sound. And this one is an award for Best Sound Designer. It's an award for the professional who's responsible for providing any required sounds to a company screen action. And the nominees in this category are... Best Sound Designer. And the nominees are... Felix Muema, an instant dad. Baru Patrick, act of love. Omar Hamza, Itifaki. Zach Devries, where the river divides. Masi Adundo, Venom, beyond the bite. Fantastic. And we'd like to request the nominees once you come on stage and receive your gift to head on outside at the red carpet. There is an interview waiting for you to call on to this stage right now uh, to award this one. Uh, artist responsible for the visual and experience, Miss, uh, actually, Miss Celestine Gashui, actress, to come over and uh, award this one. Also better known as Selena. Makofi Tafadali. This category comes with a cash prize, and it also comes with a hamper from Multi Choice Kenya. Remember, our winners, we've got an interview booth outside that's set up just for you, so we can get your precious moments and record them for posterity. Hi everyone, um, the best sound designer, Mbaru Patrick, Art of Love. Let's give her a big round of applause. And earlier today, she won her own award for best editor. And we get to hear a few words from her for the same. Uh, thank you, Makbu. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Shelly Nwangari. I'm the producer, Act of Love. And uh, this is for Patrick Mbaru. And uh, the other one was for Kome. So yeah, not me, the winner per se. I was just collecting, thank you. But we didn't hear from you when you won your award. Uh, that was uh, the editor, Kome Mwerubia. I was just collecting for him. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for being so gracious. To all of this evening's winners, we'd like to record your thoughts, your moment, your happiness. Please join us in the recording booth outside of this auditorium for that moment. We now move on to our next category, which is the Best Costume Designer. It is an award for the artist responsible for the visual appearance of the actor's clothes, jewelry, accessories, yani the full look. No, it's all about looks. 
Oh yeah. Let's take a look at this year's nominees. Best Costume Designer and the nominees are Edawa Kesho, Where the River Divides Michael Zyokin Bivi, A Very Merry Xmas Joy Denner, Vera Vivian Jerry, Act of Love and Aisha Madoni, Bazenga And as we prepare to find out who the winner is, I'd like to request Mr. Julian Macharia, the managing partner from Well Made Strategy, to please come up to hand over the award. And the winner for Best Costume Designer, Where the River Divides, Ada Wakesho. Do we have a representative who could collect this? Or we have the actual winner with us? Please make your way to the stage, Kimbia. Yay. You get to win a Samsung hamper and 50,000 shillings, lady. Do you see why I was telling you, Kimbia? Thank you. Hi guys. Yo, I'm very shy, but I'll try. Um, <laughs> I first love to thank God. Um, I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't have this gift without him. Um, I'd, like to I'd like to thank GNPI for allowing God to use them for this film. Um, I'd like to thank Nancy for roping me in <laughs> in this amazing film. I'd like to thank my family, uh, my son, who has, been, who has been an amazing supporter. I'd like to thank the cast and the crew of Where the River Divides. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Ruben Odanga, who introduced me to this industry. To, <laughs> like, <laughs> see God, see God. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm shaking. Yeah, for those who have not mentioned, I'm sorry, but I love you guys. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Julian Rashari, as well. And we'd like to request one more time the nominees, once you're done, to head on outside. There's an interview waiting for you on the red carpet. Now, the next category is Best Makeup Artist. Now, this award is the artist who is responsible for helping actors portray their characters by applying cosmetics and prosthetics to enhance their on-screen appearances in a film or on TV. And the nominees are... Best Makeup and Hair Stylist. And the nominees are Eva Waiderero, Act of Love, Fatma Muhyiddin Kayla, Vera, Classford Saul, A Familiar Christmas, Jerry Gadero, Where the River Divides, and Purity Makandi, Half Open Window. This prize comes with a 50,000 shillings cash prize and it also comes with a hamper from Samsung. To present this award, please welcome on stage Dr. Susan Gitimu, a director from Women in Film Awards. And the winner, makeup artist, Fatma Mugudin Kaira Mbera. Congratulations, Fatma. You get to win 50,000 shillings and a gift hamper from Samsung.
very well done. Karibu sana, pick up your prize and your award as we listen to your thank you speech as well. Let's give her a round of applause again. <laughs> She's still in shock. A round of applause for Fatma. <laughs> Fatma, you may not have had the words here, but please join us on the red carpet so that we can finally get to hear from you. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, the next category is Best Documentary Feature. Now, this award is for non-fictional motion pictures that gives facts and information about a subject or a topic. And the nominees are... Best Feature Documentary Limo on the Run Jockey Muhoho The Heartbreak Documentary Dennis Ochien Murdered for Love John Allen Namo Rajo Peter Nolo And Death of a Kenyan Harris The Last Door John Allen Namo this award also carries a 100,000 shilling cash prize and it also has a Samsung gift hamper. To present this award, please welcome on stage Mr. Victor Okello, the Head of Licensing, Nairobi Region, Kenya Film Classification Board. Karibu sana. Open the envelope. And let's find out who's won. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Best documentary feature. And the winner is uh, John Alan Namo. the award and a hundred thousand shillings plus a gift hamper from Samsung. Congratulations to John Allen Namu. Might not be John Allen. <laughs> Don't remember him having that hair. Uh, my name is Elijah Kani on behalf of John Allen. Um, his producer, he couldn't make it because of family, some stuff. And I'm here as his producer, The Last Door. If you've not watched it, please do, because it's one of the kind in our country. Please make time and watch The Last Door on multi-choice. Fantastic. Awesome. On behalf of John Allen, The Last Door, of course, you can catch it on Multi-Choice. An amazing, amazing in-depth analysis of some of the darkest stories and stories that are unsolved in this amazing country of ours. Next up, Best Documentary Short. And this is uh, an award, of course, non-fictional motion picture that gives facts and information, again, about a subject and a topic which uh, a running minute of about 40 minutes or less. The nominees are... Best Short Documentary and the nominees are Embracing Brilliance Samuel Oduor Venom Beyond the Bite Morris Onyango Kiwu Thirst for Survival Michael Mulwa Coffee Production Documentary Dekut KFC Film Hub The Pink Champions Omar Kibulanga from Mind Me International, to present this award, please welcome on stage Mr. John Wambugo. Louisa.
Good evening, everyone. You look all fantastic. And on behalf of the staff, the board, and the partners of MindB International, the winner of the best documentary short is Coffee Production Documentary by the Good Film Hub. The strongholds are here, very well represented. Welcome on stage and congratulations to you. Right after that, we'll have a representative speak. And remember, winners, we are interviewing your precious moment from tonight on the red carpet. So please don't leave without making time to get that recorded. Good evening. We are humbled. We are a team. We thank God for this far. We thank the jury for believing in us. We are from Dedan Kimathi University of Technology in Nyeri, disrupting the space of education through film, animation, and gaming. Thank you. Merci. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we take a beat. And at this point, we'd like to pay homage to some of the industry greats who made an impact and gave us memories to last a lifetime before they were called to the heavens Hall of Fame. I'd like to request that we all have a one minute of silence as a show of respect to those who have gone before us. Let us now pay homage to our fallen greats. works will live on forever. And as creatives, we don't say goodbye. We live on through our works. We'd like to cross over to Farid for our next category. All right, thanks very much, Sheila and Mark Bull. And yes, legends, heroes, uh, and I think it's safe to say 
Without them, there would be no us. So just another big round of applause for that in memoriam clip. And for those fallen heroes who are still with us uh, and give us their inspiration each and every day in this wonderful, beautiful, creative space. And speaking of creative spaces, ladies and gentlemen, we have an incredible artist coming onto the stage now. So please, please put your hands together for Niviri, the storyteller. How you feeling tonight? Bazi chana wengi Wana pena kuni ita baby Siju ina ni nina mbapezi How can one man find it out to be one? Oh, oh, oh Nika pata wenye meniskati Hawajui jesi ya kukendi Once again, I'm viewing the storyteller. Thank you very much. Come on, I pray. Let me see your body move to Macarena. Say it. To lead the way. Can I be right beside you? Yes, you are my kind of baby. Now for the ladies, I love you, Anna, 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 AKA Buana Shere. Mimi si Buana Yako, Mimi Buana Shere. Let's go. Baby, 
That's one of the songs in the album. I just mean when it's time to party, it's time to party, in it? Oh, Bobe. Now is how I to be like. Now sing along. Oh, Bobe. Uh -huh. Give it up for So generation And the love we tell Hey, 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 hey You love Now see how I let you Watch out now me Here it goes now see it now But I saw the situation of Boca tricky. He lashed him on a pandemic. Contribution got him a busy. Who could Nairobi? Hey, situation of Boca tricky. Why go? Oh, oh, oh. Who see me when they come back? Watch it go. Oh, 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 Now one more time, sing it with me. Oh, Bobe, God. Kaka. Now it's a watch of me like a banana. Like it is. But say, I'm feeling how I'm feeling. That's my time, Nairobi. I'm feeling the storyteller. Universal Charger, striker number nine. Merci. Let's give him another round of applause. He's taken us through his earlier hits and his current Wana Shere. What is Bibi Shere? Yamani. Bibi Shere, who copy? Oh, me, I tell you, Bibi Shere. I'll see you. Tonight, I am one of them. First of all, let me just appreciate. Uh, I think the men can attest to this. Tafadali, let's give our ladies a round of applause. They're looking absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely tonight. Including my co-host right here. Thank you very much. Including Claudia, who was on the red carpet. Please give yourselves, ladies, a big round of applause. Yo, yo, yo. And thank you, gentlemen, for appreciating us. And we'd like to appreciate you, too. Including... Our honorable CS, looking good, Kama Kawaida. A big round of applause to the gentleman who read the invite and came through as dictated. Absolutely. Shall we move on to the next category? Yes, please. Awesome. Please go ahead. Okay. This award is the Best Production Designer Award, and this goes to a master who's responsible for identifying design style for sets, locations, graphics, props, lighting, camera angles, and costumes to be used in the film. And here are this year's nominees. In the category of Best Production Designer, the nominees are Richie Mulama in Act of Love, Hamisi Africa in Vera. Nancy Alort in Where the River Divides. June Dinya in A Familiar Christmas. And Catherine Mwema in Murdered for Love. And to hand over this award, please welcome Production and Development Manager, Fictional at Nun uh, National Film and Video Foundation South Africa to present the award, Miss Refilo Laboy. Oh, 
Oh, do pardon us for interrupting. Saubona. Saubona now, eh? The best category for production design goes to Nancy Oluch for Weather River Device. Karibu on stage. Congratulations to you. Remember, after your moment on stage, we're waiting for you on the red carpet to record your moment from this evening. Let's give her another round of applause. Good evening, everyone. Okay, production designers don't talk much. We just like to show. <laughs> but I'd like to thank GNPI Africa for the opportunity to design. MD Neely, all the way in Missouri, America. My director for trusting me with his vision. I'd like to thank my friends, June Dinya, Ed Kesho, and the cast and crew of Where the River Divides. It took us one year to prep this film, and this is what we've ripped from that one year of pre-production. Thank you to the cast and crew of Where the River Divides. And thank you to my partner, my son, my family for loving me right. Thank you. Congratulations to you. As you make your way to your seat, please remember to also make your way to the red carpet so that we can record more of your thoughts from tonight's win. We now move on to our next category, which is the best original screenplay. This is an award for the best film script based on one's own creative ideas. And here are the nominees. In the category of best original screenplay, the nominees are Mud Blood in Where the River Divide, Brian Munene in The Caller, Volin Ogutu and Kahindi Ya in Vera, Teddy Gitau in Half Open Window, Gadoni Kamau in Murder Camp. Stage to award this, please welcome a member of the Kenyan Oscars Jury Committee, Ms. Eda Kiruhi. It is my pleasure to present to you the best original screenplay, Matt Black, Where the River Divides. Louisa. Congratulations to you. May we have a representative? Give him a round of applause. Thank you so much, Makul. Um, on behalf of, definitely I'm not Matt Black, but on behalf of Matt Black, I'd like to say thank you to the jury, thank you to the Kenya Film Commission, Kalasha Awards for this amazing 
award. It has to reach him and he has to know that he has taken this amazing award. Thank you. Congratulations to you. This award also comes with a gift hamper from Samsung. And that makes way for our next category. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting to the tail end of our event and the next category is Best Short Film. Now this award goes to a motion picture that is short with a running time of not more than 45 minutes. The nominees are... Best Short Film and the nominees are... Hell or High Water, Juguna Nganga, Itifaki, Junwai Rego, Where the River Divides. Madrid Nyaga, Bazenga, Jackton Munala, An Act of Love, Charlene Wangari. To present this award, please welcome Dr. Hilary Shitambasi Mulama, the Acting Chair of the Kenya Film Commission Board, and he is one of the direct, he is on the Commission Board uh, and a director and he will present this award. This award comes with a 50,000 shilling cash prize and a gift hamper from Samsung. Karibu sana, Dr. Hilary Shitambasi Mulama. So I do hear Dr. Hilary is outside, just escorted the CS. So in uh, the place will... Uh, fantastic. We have a member of the board to present that on his behalf. Good evening, everyone. Best short film where the river divides is Matrid Nyaga. Matrid Nyaga. And for this award, they don't walk away empty-handed just with the trophy. There is a cash prize of 50,000 shillings and a Samsung hamper. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Mike Strano. Um, I'm the co-founder of Yakwetu. We are the distributors of Where the River Divides as well as two other films that have been nominated. Um, so the producer has given me a speech to deliver on her behalf. Okay, here we have the lead actor and actress as well. So congratulations to the entire Where the River Divides team. It's been a, an amazing production. So Madrid says, in my absence, I am truly honored to be mentioned on this stage tonight. When I was called upon to work on Where the River Divides, I knew that it was going to be a life-changing project. Not just for me, but for the entire crew and every individual who would have the privilege of watching the film. The result has been nothing short of my expectations, with the film opening a church and discipling many that have, been, have also opened the conversation as well as opening the conversation of forgiveness among us to the communities we thrive in. My prayer now is that this same healing can transcend in this beautiful industry of Kenya, the creative industry, to bring us all to a beautiful place of collaboration and partnerships that will make us thrive and tell beautiful stories. The truth is the trophies and accolades are just but a plus. Everything else is the actual work. Thank you, God, for allowing me to glorify you with my craft. Thank you, Kalasha, for this award. Thank you, Yakwetu, for giving us the platform of My Movies Africa to share our film as well as distribution. Thank you again to the crew and cast for giving the best of yourselves. I love you all. Love, MJ. Thank you all. 
Thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Please remember to stop by the red carpet. We'd like to record that one more time. And once again, very well done. Fantastic. And we move on to our next category, Best Regional Film. Now, this award is for a motion picture with strong cultural roots in various regions of Kenya. And the nominees are... Best Regional Film. And the nominees are... Wife for Hire. Robin Odongo. The Whole Nine Yards. Victor Viboxumondi. Barua Lahuhamisho. Rogers Maithia Mulatia. Tulet. Durukan Jaroge. Gin and the Fried Chicken. Peterson Karaoke. And here to present this award, please join me in welcoming Dr. Yvonne Karemi. Let's give her a round of applause. So, for the best regional film, we have two left by Nduruku Njoroge. Kindly make your way to the stage. We're not just celebrating the very best of Kenya tonight. We're celebrating the very best of East Africa. It is a rich and diverse region and we celebrate your creative input as well. From Kenya, from East Africa, to the world. My name is Bruno Tanya. I was the director for Tulet. It's Audrey Agesa, who is the producer and also my lovely wife. We, we are happy to be here and it's truly an honor. Thank you. Congratulations. Actually. Please make your way to the red carpet one more time so that we can record your moment from tonight's win. But we're going to take another short break. But we won't just leave you like that. Ladies and gentlemen, as I dab on my makeup, I'd like to call upon stage some young chaps with amazing talents. A round of applause for the Saracassi dancers.
apology from myself, Brock Turner's victim, and any woman who's ever survived sexual assault. Yo, a round of applause for the Sarakasi dancers. Ah, now we to a screen. Hey, Sarakasi dancers. How epic was that, ladies and gentlemen? Wow, that was a full production going on. Eburu di shadi yo screen makbul kuna kitu na taka nikonyesha. I can throw you. We try that thing. Eh? You're the one who'll be missing the insurance. <laughs> But we'd like to keep it pushing and move on to our next category. And this one is a category for best lead actor in a film. It's an award that goes to an actor who has delivered an outstanding performance in a leading role in a film. Yani, main character what? Energy. Kwani. See, we're young and hip together. How do I know this alone? Aya. Let's take a look at this year's nominees. 
In the category of Best Lead Actor in a Film, the nominees are Dr. Edwin Nudo as Libabu in Half Open Window, Patrick Owino as Mze Thabiti in Vera, Pascal Tokodi as Melita in A Familiar Christmas, Emmanuel Mugo as McKenna in E.T. Farki, Gadwil Odhiambo as Dennis in Where the River Divides. Fantastic. And to give this award, he's a main actor in his own right. Ladies and gentlemen, CEC Mombasa County to hand over the award, Mr. Kenneth Ambani. Gilba. Wow. Uh, good evening. I've been on this stage so many times that uh, when I was actually asked to come and give this, give out this award, I can only say that I was truly humbled because it's like I'm passing on the mantle to one. Godwill of the Ambo. Godwin of the Ambo, congratulations to you for winning Best Lead Actor in a Film. Godi. Awesome, my man. I'd like to pass my thanks and my gratitude to the whole cast and crew where the river divides. I'd like to say thank you to God for this amazing award. This is how it feels. Thank you so much for everyone who believed in me, for my parents, for my friends. Jeff, thank you so much. And for everyone who kept advising me and telling me to be a go-getter, Wakio Mzenge, thank you so much for believing in me. And thank you for my co-star, Shandri Daisy Apondi. Congratulations to you. You not only get to pick up that award, you also get a 55-inch TV from Star Times and a gift hamper from Samsung. A round of applause as he makes his way back. George, please make your way to the red carpet as we celebrate you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the next category is Best Lead Actress in a Film. This award is for an actress who has delivered an outstanding performance in a leading role in a film. And the nominees are... Best Lead Actress in a Film. The nominees are... Lina Sande as Nvera in Vera. Nice Gidinji as Koki Mugler in The Call of... Maureen Kunga as Noni in A Familiar Christmas. Mwix Mutinda as Juliana in Act of Love. And Chandra Daisy Apondi as Mary in Where the River Divides. And here to present this award, please welcome on stage Mr. Jimmy Carter Luo, the CEO of Star Times Kenya. Let's give him a round of applause 
Several TV sets have been given to winners tonight and we are grateful for your partnership with the Kenya Film Commission at this year's 13th edition of the Kalasha International Film and Television Awards. Good evening. Uh, today, really excited. Uh, you see, our minister mentioned Kenya lead local content. But I want to say local but international. For me, um, my responsibility is bring Kenya contents to China. Actually, this year, uh, we have a series. We are shooting in Kenya. Uh, we are together with Kenya producer, director, and actor. And after shooting, we 100% we are bring to China. Let Kenya content local but international. Thank you. Right. Another round of applause as we find out who this category's winner is. And the winner for the best lead actress in a film goes to Lina Sande Mve Mvera in Mvera. Bring all of that excitement to the stage. Okay. Please, come jumping. Bring all of that excitement to us so we can celebrate with you. Please give her a round of applause. Lady, you get to win a 55-inch TV from Star Times. Congratulations to you. And thank you very much, Star Times Kenya, for making this possible. And you also get a Samsung hamper. About three years ago, at the 10th edition of the Kalasha Awards, I was nominated for Best Lead Actress. But, well, you know, it wasn't my time. Three years later, I stand on this stage, and tonight I don't stand as Lena Sande, I stand as an inspiration. To all the nominees in my category, you are brilliant women. You are amazing women. You've done amazing works. I would love to appreciate AR Films production under the leadership of Dawdi Anguka. <laughs> you gave me a chance to change my life and to make my dream come true. I'd love to appreciate AR Films, cast, crew, our bosses are here. The people back at home who are watching, my friends, my family, my fans, the people who voted for us, and my team. Thank you, Nasinema Itambe. Fantastic, fantastic, and such an amazing inspiration. Through Kenya Film Commission, you can see the awards are not just coming from Nairobi, from different parts of the country, including Mombasani. Congratulations again. As she makes her way to the red carpet, we move on to our next category. And something our winner has just mentioned rings true. Timing is everything, especially when it comes to comedy. And this next category is the Best TV Comedy Award. It goes to a television series that makes people laugh 
has a humorous tone, and it depicts amusing incidents in which the characters ultimately triumph over adversity. Here are this year's nominees. In the category of Best TV Comedy, the nominees are Kamuste, Damari Sirongo, Roast House, Caroline Womboy, Comedy Riot, Caroline Womboy. And to present this award, please welcome on stage East Africa Head of Mobile Experience Samsung Electronics, Mr. Anthony Hutia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I, I can do it also. <laughs> it's a bit nostalgic because I started acting when I was young. Uh, but during our days, especially the 90s, and we are all at the Kenya National Theatre, we never used to make a lot of money, so we changed careers <laughs> and became salespeople. So it's an honor to do this today. So, best TV comedy. Come, you stay, Damaris Irongo. Congratulations, come we stay. And thank you very much, Samsung, for being a trusted partner of the Kenya Film Commission. I'm vain, so I already wrote a speech, eh? <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank you all so much. Thank you to God, first and foremost, for this miracle, because only three months into the premiere of our show, uh, we have an award. So this is just a miracle right there. We want to thank the jury. A uh, big thanks to everyone who voted for us as well to get us here. You're appreciated. We want to thank uh, my family, most sincerely, my hubby and my kids, uh, who have given me wings to dream big. I'd also like to thank the entire crew and cast of Kamu Stay. This has been a labor of love. We have worked hard in good and bad times, and each day, every team member has brought their A game. You are deeply appreciated. Uh, special thanks to our director of our show, Gilbert Lucalia, who holds a vision of the show with him every single day, Gili Asante Sana. Uh, I also want to extend a huge thanks to the Multichase family at Mnet Kenya, helmed by Timothy Okwaro, uh, your team members, channel head Margaret Mathore, and commissioning editor Jackie Anyanzwa. Thank you for giving us a chance and for believing in us every step of the way. What you guys at Multichase do for this industry is unmatched. Msichoke, asante nisana. Um, I also want to extend another thanks to Everyone who's come through for us at our darkest hour producing this show. Uh, thank you, KFC, for your continued support to the industry. Timothy Owase, we appreciate you. Uh, and this award is dedicated to producers in Kenya. Uh, sitting on this hot seat has taught me so much, and producers carry so much on their shoulders. So today, I dedicate this award to Kenyan producers. Thank you. This award carries with it an extremely amazing cash reward. Not only do you get a gift hamper from Samsung, 
you also get 50,000 shillings and you also get 100,000 shillings from KFC. What an incredible win this evening. Congratulations to you. Please make your way to the red carpet. Fantastic. And on with the show we go. Uh, the next category, the best performance in a TV comedy. Now, this award is for a character who depicts dramatic performance, light or humorous tones depicting amusing incidents, and in which the character ultimately triumphs over adversity. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are... Best performance in a TV comedy. And the nominees are... Ruth Nyambura, Comedy Riot. Abel Mutua, Roast House. Kevin Kasioki, Kamuste. To hand over this award, please welcome on stage Miss Felista Swangi, TikTok Content Partnerships Manager in Entertainment East Africa. Karibu Sana. But of course. I'm happy to be presenting this award because the person who's going to win this award is someone that I really, really love watching on TV. The best performance in a TV comedy goes to Abel Motua in Rose Is Abel here? He is in Australia, I would think, but uh, maybe he would. All right, fantastic. I yes, go home with it and give it to one of my TikTokers because they... I uh, thank you so much. I'll quickly make this first. I think thanks to first the company that allowed us to do this commercial, APA. Thank you so much for allowing us to go with such a bold script. Thank the creative director of the commercial, Mega Duta, and the rest of the team from Agency, Sandeep, Francis. Thank you so much, guys. And finally, the production house uh, under the leadership of Tosh Gitonga, Primary Pictures. Uh, thank you so much, Tosh, for allowing us to play around and do as much and burn a house and uh, push the levels. Finally, again, thank you to everyone and uh, the person who came up with the voting system. Thank you. My mother became an IT expert. She's there, <laughs> getting everyone to vote. And my grandfather as well, who took two days to vote. And uh, my beautiful daughters, Angie and Tyler, thank you so much. Congratulations to you. Now make your way to the red carpet, Tafadali, as we proceed to the next category which is Best Supporting Actor in a TV Drama. Now, this award is for an actor who has delivered an outstanding performance in support of main character in a TV drama. The nominees are... Best Supporting Actor in a TV Drama. The nominees are... Ojambo Ainer as Musa in Igiza. Dungi Gidoko as Sero in Kina. Michael Munyoki as Eric in Single Kiasi. Mike Makori as Luanda in Zari. And Jeff Omondi Opondo as Sanchez in Becky. Gojeni Kido Go Tafadali to present this award. Joining us on stage is the founder of Art at Work. Please welcome Mr. Roy Gitahi. Louisa, 
Hello, people. How are you? Make some noise. Very good. Best supporting actor in a TV drama. Anyway. Best supporting actor in a TV drama. Dungi Kithuku. Sero in Kina. And we have a winner. Not only do you pick up the award, you get a Samsung gift hamper, and from Star Times Kenya, you get a 55 inch television. All right. <clears throat> Asante sana to the Kalasha Awards. Um, hii imekuja kama surprise kubwa sana. Mimi nimefurahi. Nimekuwa kwa hii industry kwa muda mrefu na sasa wakati umewadia. <laughs> ah, <laughs> daktari. And also I'm an artist who is also an artivist. So I dedicate this to all human rights defenders in Kenya and I am happy that nimepata platform nyingine ya kuendeleza mapambano so that wananchi wote wa Kenya wakuwe kwa equality na wapate justice. Thank you so much to the crew, the cast and the production house ambao walikubali niwe actor katika Kina. Thank you so much. And God bless. Jala. Congratulations. Ni wakati ni wakati na before Keti Tomba Tafadali you make your way to the red carpet so we can get your thoughts from this win. We proceed to our next category which is best supporting actress in a TV drama. This goes to the actress who has delivered an outstanding performance in support of the main character in a TV drama. Who are the nominees? Let's find out. Best Supporting Actress in a TV Drama And the nominees are Sophie Rubin as Safira in Pete Aisha Saeed as Nyashi in Sanura Brenda Wairimo as Lola in Zari, Julie Brenda Nyambura as Bella Mwakazi in Kina, and Caroline Mohogo as Wanja in Kasiri. And to hand over the award uh, from GIZ, pardon me if I massacre your name, Bernard Lekmai, Bernd, Her Bernd. Her Bernd. <laughs> Welcome in, bitte. Will common. Thank you very much and uh, good evening. And uh, the winner for Best Supporting Actress in a TV Drama is Brenda Varimu. Brenda Wairimo, you get to win a 55-inch television from Star Times Kenya. You pick up a gift hamper from Samsung. You also get to win 50,000 shillings <laughs> from the Kenya Film Commission. And you also get a voucher for two <laughs> at Royal Tulip. Please give her a big, big, big round of applause. Yeah, we can, a big round of applause is many, not from one person. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you very much to all our partners for making this evening special. Not just in teaming up with the Kenya Film Commission, but in awarding and rewarding this exceptional, exceptional group of talented Kenyan creatives. Asanteni sana. <laughs> um, allow me to read, please. <clears throat> In light of all that is going on around us, the lost lives, unending wars, needless suffering, this can all seem very trivial and so unimportant. But see, in nature, nothing exists alone, not even these feelings. And that is why, in the same breath, I can also say, what an honor it is to play Lola in Zari. <laughs> and all the characters that have come before her and all the ones to come still. It's an honor that all of us here share to be invited into homes to make people laugh, cry, forget, and sometimes remember. Thank you to my producers, Rashid and Lulu, for seeing me <laughs> and the entire cast and crew of Zari. We do what we love and it's a great joy to be recognized for doing it well. Thank you and always thank you for watching. <laughs> Congratulations to you, Brenda. For Tomoto Kwanza. And very well done. Please make your way to the red carpet so that we may interview you just a little bit more. But we proceed to our next category, which is the best lead actor in a TV drama. Now this award, an actor who has delivered an outstanding performance in a leading role in a TV drama. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are... Best Lead Actor in a TV Drama And the nominees are... Blessing Lungaho as Dominic in Igiza Jimmy Gathu as Tandala in Kina Charles Oda as Melkita Zekarani in Salem Isabo Kenyakundi as Elijah in Shamba Lawanyama. Selim Zamil as Kisasi in Sanura. And to hand over this award, the ever vested, the energetic actress, Nyokabi Masharia. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you guys. Hey, can you be enthusiastic? People are winning awards here. How are you? Good. Amazing. The aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but the inward significance. And the nominees in this category this year did exactly that. Whether it's Lungaho's versatile portrayal of Dom in Igiza, or Jimmy Gathu's charisma as Tandala on Kina, or the legend, Charles J. Ouda, e ever soulful and hearty performance as Karani in Salem, or Isaboke's cunningness as Elijah in Shamba Lawanyama. Ama nindugu yetu, Selem Zamil, akijishebedua na kiswaili chake kule sanura. Wote wame tuzengua na vipaji vyao. And the best lead actor in a TV series is... Charles J. Oda.
Hello. So, we have lost our brothers and sisters, individuals brimming with talent and potential to the silent battles of depression, addiction, and loneliness. Because in the midst of our somewhat vibrant lives, demons lurk in the shadows every so often, haunting our nights and clouding our days. And to be capable to come out on the other side is only something that all of us can hope for. So tonight, on behalf of Charlie, I urge all of us to make a solemn choice to be better. Let us be better friends, offering support and understanding to those in need. Let us be better colleagues, fostering a culture of empathy and kindness in our workplaces. Let us be better employers, prioritizing the mental and emotional well-being of our teams. For Charlie, thank you. And could I please also ask us on behalf of Charlie that we all rise and give this fantastic gentleman one more round of applause for everything he has done for us. To Charlie. Amazing. Rest in peace, Charlie. Thank you very much. They not only collect the award, they also pick up a Samsung gift hamper. It's all about leading, but leading in kindness, leading in thoughtfulness and consideration for each other. Which brings us to our next category, which is also another leading category, this time round recognizing the best lead actress in a TV drama. This goes to the actress who has delivered an outstanding performance in a leading role in a television drama. Best lead actress in a TV drama. And the nominees are Sarandanu Teshna as Linda and Nicole in Igiza, Senaipei Tande as Nana Tandala in Kina, Faith Kibathi as Rebecca in Single Kiasi, Ivy Wanjiku as Sanura in Sanura, Sarah Hassan as Nina in Zari. That's hotly contested right there, right? To give this award, General Manager, Art Isle Grand Hotel, ladies and gentlemen, Bupinda Kumar. in a TV drama is Sara Hassan Nina Inzari. This award comes with a 55-inch television from Star Times Kenya, 50,000 shillings from the Kenya Film Commission. We have a Samsung hamper. And that's not all. We've got a voucher for two at the Royal Tulip Hotel. Please give her a big round of applause. Oh wow, first and foremost, it's an honor to be nominated alongside such incredibly talented women. Um, secondly, I just wanted to thank um, our producers, Rashid and Lulu, for believing in me to bring the role of Nina to life. Uh, I'd like to thank Kalasha, the jury, everyone who voted, and everyone who watches every single day. I'd like to thank the cast and crew, who give their all every day. And last but not least, my family, who support me with the crazy hours that we put in. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you. 
As she makes her way to the red carpet for a brief interview, we move on to our next category. And the next category, ladies and gentlemen, the best TV drama. Now, this award is for a television series whose script depicts dramatic events characterized by having multiple plots and characters. The nominees are... In the category of best TV drama, the nominees are... Igiza, Abdul Kadir Abdullahi, Pepeta, James Combo, Single Kiasi, Grace Kahaki, Zari, Khadija Hassan, Kina, Season 4, Epi Material. And here to hand this award is board director at the Kenya Film Commission, Miss Ilham Tyser. Please welcome her on stage, representing our host this evening and celebrating the creative economy. Louisa. Wow. I'm from Mombasa. Habarizemi. Mukosalama. It's an honor that I have been in this industry since I was in class three at Beheni Girls. And right here today, I am honored to give an and what? And this is great. Can you feel it? Thank you. <laughs> I am proud today. I am very proud after very, very many years. And here I am. Thank you, Mr. Philip Oase, for trusting me. And the best, the best TV drama by James Combo, Pepeta. Pepeta by James Combo. Please come, 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 bring all that excitement to the stage. We've got 50,000 shillings waiting for you, so up the stairs we go. And a delightful hamper from Samsung. Draka. Wow. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. <sighs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Habari zenu. Ah, it's a beautiful night. My name is Chanya, co-producer co and founder, CJ3 Entertainment. What an evening, right? So a saying goes that um, feeling gratitude and not expressing it is simply having a gift and not giving it out. So today we must confess that this is one of our happiest moments in our lives. And we are very happy, truly grateful to the jury for the nomination to the Pepeta fan base. All our fans are Sante Sana. Um, to Showmax, uh, especially Timothy Okwara, Denise Mwende, Jackie Anyanzwa, Shukran. Um, this show wouldn't have made it without Haron a.k.a. Rio, who unwrapped his life for us and allowed us to share his story on screen. Rio, wherever you are, thank you so much uh, to the amazing cast. 
right here and um, all our crew led by Vincent Mbaya, uh, our amazing writer Damari Sirungu, receive your flowers. Uh, to the community at large in Kibra, wow, we remain indebted to you for accepting us as one of you, allowing us to shoot there, collaborating with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And lastly, to our casting team led by the genius, the late Charles J. Oda. Woo, shine with the angels, Charles. You gave us the amazing fresh faces who keep shining. They're right here in front of you. Uh, we give you thanks. And um, Kevin Ogola, uh, these characters did justice to their roles. This one is for you, Charlie. Totally yours. Thank you, guys. Thank you. As you make your way back to your seat following the photograph, please remember to make your way to the red carpet for a brief interview session. And let's give them one more round of applause. Right. On with the show in the next category is Kito Halisi Award. Now Kito Halisi Award recognizes uh, broadcasters who are there to communication principles as laid down in the communication sector codes of practice and programs code. In this category, the nominees are... Oh no, this category does not have... Pardon me. Nominees. Fantastic. This is one that has come from observation. It is not up for voting. It is simply as a result of practice. Practice, practice. And to present this award, we'd like to welcome on stage the Acting Director for Monitoring, Inspection and Regional Coordination from the Communication Authority of Kenya, Titus Chepto. And the winner for Kituo Halisi for this year is Inoro TV. Come on now, we can do better. Remember, it is as a result of practice and maintaining the codes of ethics and integrity. And for that, Inoro FM, congratulations to you. You pick up a cash voucher of 50,000 shillings. And that is from the Kenya Film Commission. You have a hundred thousand shillings from the Communications Authority of Kenya and a Samsung gift hamper. Here to pick up that award is the one, <laughs> the only. We know Swahili hapo hatuwezi kukufikia. So you have to make this acceptance speech in Kikuyu. By the way, Sheila, uh, I'm Kikuyu by the way. Oh. Niongee Kikuyu? Yes. Uh, acha tu ntongee siku ingine. Deure. Oh, we both to share. Eh? Deure. Waigwa. <laughs> so on behalf of Royal Media Services, tunashukuru sana siku ya leo. Uh, Makubuli kusoma kwa I didn't expect this. Real Media Services, thank you very much and uh, God bless you. Thank you very much. Um, Lulu, please make your way to the red carpet for a few words on behalf of the station. Well, we move on with the next category, Best International Award. Now, this one is uh, for a motion picture on the international level with a running time of about 60 minutes and 180 minutes. This one does have nominations and they are in the category of Best International Award, the nominees are... 
Heroic Bodies Sarah Suleiman from Sudan Midnight Bride Doreen R. Kilimbe from Tanzania and her Polly Kamukala from Uganda Love Transfusion or Kiapo Chadamu Kefa Hussein Igilo from Tanzania and finally my woman Brenda Malema from Tanzania and to award this one digital brand strategist Ken Bright Holdings to present this one Gasheru Wanjiro Now this award has a 50,000 shilling cash award reward from the Kenya Film Commission. We have a hundred thousand shillings from MultiChoice and a hamper from Samsung. Gashero. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And for the best international film, The Midnight Pride by Doreen R. Kilimbe from Tanzania. Welcome on stage. Congratulations to all of you and very well done. can say God is good because it has always been my dream to receive a kalasha but I would also like to thank people who made this project go through um, thank you to the multi-choice group thank you <laughs> thank you to multi-choice talent factory I really, really <laughs> yeah. And also thank you to Mama, Madam Victoria Goro, OGW, God bless you. And above all, um, I would like to extend my gratitude to um, our audience and the team for a great work they did. Yeah. Here's our director. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was a great feeling making the film and uh, I'm really happy for this award. Uh, being on this stage with my producer and our lead cast. Um, I will not forget this feeling. Thank you. <laughs> Very well done. As they make their way to the red carpet, once again for a brief interview, we move on to the best animation production category. This award goes to the best animation production, and this consists entirely of a photographed series of drawings or electronically generated images in which movement and characters, performances, are created using a frame-by-frame -frame technique. Take a look at the nominees. In the category of Best Animation, the nominees are Kito and Chacha, Ebi Productions, Death Valley, Stephen Kennedy Kialo, Blood Thirst, Luigi Sanya Ososo, Mama Cry for Rain, John Irimo, The Shepherd, Maureen Moravi. Fantastic. Right. And now to hand over this award, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if I can find my notes. There we go. Miss Lucia Nzongo to come on stage and hand this over. Oh. 
Of course, Lucia Nzongo is board director, Kenya Film Commission, and shall be awarding this particular category. This award comes with a 50,000 shilling cash award. It also has a Samsung hamper, 100,000 shillings from the Communications Authority of Kenya. And the winner is... And this is where heart meets commerce. And the winner is... Stephen Kennedy Chalo! I would like to thank my family for supporting me in my animation work. Everywhere, everyone at Film Fupi Academy, as well as all the lovers of animation on X, thank you for all your votes. Hinietu, thanks. Very well done. Congratulations to you. On to our next category. You won't believe how close we are to the end of tonight's celebration, but first, the best children or kids production category. Now this is an award for an educational or entertaining production whose primary audience is the children. Here are this year's nominees. In the category of best kids production, the nominees are Ndemwa, Michael Mutahi, Preschool Kids Learning, Ruth Moravi, Let's Dance, Luigi Sanya Ososo. Storytime with Zuri, Jasiri and Toto. Brian Apanja. Sikicho's Long Day, Darren Collins. And to present this award from Royal Tulip Sales Manager, Rose Jafwa. This award also comes with a 50,000 shilling cash award from the Kenya Film Commission, 100,000 shillings from the Communications Authority of Kenya, and a gift hamper from Samsung. And the winner is Darren Collins. Thank you so much to the uh, Kili Kids Network for letting us reach 13 million people every single week and all the puppeteers at Puppets 254 and PHU, uh, Chalo Fidelis, also uh, Jack Cabetti, thank you so much, as well as Veronica and Winnie and Mercy and Mercy Muthoni and Dennis and Rose, our editors, she's the best, and uh, Veronica and Bob and Victor for helping us do the puppetry. Thank you so much, and let's make more great stuff for Kenyan children. Thanks. Absolutely magical. Very well done. Please make your way to the red carpet as well. And pose for a photo perhaps first. All right. <laughs> And as we do that, we go into our next category, Best Student Film. Now, this award is for an act of work that has been produced entirely by promising university or college students. The nominees, Best Student Film are... In the category of Best Student Film, the nominees are... Full-Time Husband, Multi-Choice Talent Factory, 
somewhere in Kole. Multi Choice Talent Factory. Hex Appeal. USIU Africa. God forbid, Africa Digital Media Institute. Untold. Film Aid Kenya. Present this award from Copyright Tribunal Chairperson, Miss Liz Lenjo. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. As we celebrate them, we catch them young, we celebrate them young, and as we welcome them into the industry, we want to tell them that disputes are a part of, you know, the business, the game, but they don't need to be ugly. As a copyright tribunal, we are here to make dispute resolution easier, faster, and affordable, and the best part is you can represent yourself. So that basically says we can sever our relationships. Without further much ado, best student film goes to God Forbid by ADMI. Very well done. This comes with a 50,000 shilling cash prize from the Kenya Film Commission as well as a Samsung hamper. This 50,000 shillings, slight correction, is actually from the Copyright Tribunal, so very well done to you. Good evening, everyone. Um, first of all, we thank, want to thank God God truly did for God forbid. Um, I want to thank um, our lecturers who worked with us, our production supervisors, Warenge Mwaneki and Cheki Ambalwa, thank you so much. Our sound lecturers, uh, Hendrik Sam and Mr. Karum Bangati are seated over there. Receive your flowers. We are truly, truly privileged to be guided by your wisdom. Also, I want to thank um, Mr. Brian Omolo, um, he was the supervisor for graphics and thank you so, so much. And of course, my crew over here. <laughs> thank you so much. Steve Guitar wrote, God forbid. Belonia was our camera assistant. I was the producer. My name is Wanjiko Ahome and we thank you so, so much. Congratulations to you. We now move on to the best student documentary and this is an award for a non-fictional motion picture that gives facts and information about a subject or topic produced entirely by promising university or college students. Here are the nominees. Documentary by a student and the nominees are Art on the Skin, Kenya Film School. Treasure Beneath the Mangrove, Kenya Film School. In the language of our mothers, Film Aid Kenya. Echoes of Home, Film Aid Kenya. Is it because I'm a girl? Film Aid Kenya. And from the Department of Film Services, Deputy Director Mr. Regis Ondieki to award this particular category. This award comes with a 50,000 shilling cash prize from the Kenya Film Commission. We've got 50,000 shillings from Multi-Choice and a gift hamper from Samsung. Good evening. Good evening. The winner in this category is Art on the Skin by Kenya Film, Film School. 
Please, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the winners of this category. Our DAO protocol are observed the barrier leo. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank my mother and my mother's leader, Tabu. Kama si wewe man, I would like to thank you. Thanks, big time. Thank you very much. Kenya Film School, I really want to thank you very much for the support and the love when you are supporting your students. And uh, I want to thank Mr. Gitonga, Mr. Gitonga Tosh, I want to thank you very much. Madam Caro, um, my crew, I want to thank you guys so much, and as well, Nyiwas, uh, Wote Umekuja, thanks. Sina Neno. Namsisaho Kurudi Kule Red Carpet for a brief interview. How do you call Red Carpet in Kiswahili? Who is Lulu? The next category is all about gaming, esports, and video games. Now, this award is for games and sports infused with technology. Uh, in this category, these are your nominees. This does not have nominees as well. Keep speaking. It's one of the exceptions. Well, <laughs> the second one of the exceptions awesome. to tonight's categories. So, to present this, Mr. Jessica Ngade, head of partnership, have a fund to come over and award this one. This award carries a 50,000 shilling cash award from MultiChoice, a hamper from Samsung, and a, that's a gift hamper from Samsung. All right. Um, today we are really honored to be celebrating this category that sits in the intersection of sports, entertainment, and technology. And the winners for this category are Alphabet by the Good Film Hub. So team, we'd like you to race to the stage because we're revising that cash prize. We're looking at 50,000 shillings from the Kenya Film Commission, 100,000 shillings from MultiChoice, and a Samsung gift hamper. We are back here again. It's so humbling. We thank God. <sighs> I don't know what to say. We are changing the narrative in uh, delivering education and we are producing video games to make learning fun. Our game developers, Eric, Fiona, the animators, oh, short of words, our partners, we are more than grateful. Thank you. Well said. Congratulations to all of you. Please make your way to the red carpet, or you may send a representative to speak on behalf of the team. But really, tonight it is as you see it. Congratulations again. Our next category. DOP, Director of Photography. Now, this award is for the genius who's responsible for creating the look 
of a film, color, light, and for the framing of every single shot in the film. The nominees are... In the category of Best Director of Photography, the nominees are... Jim Bishop, Ha! Open Window, Daudi Anguka, Mvera, Andrew Bradford, Where the River Divides, Joel Ingo, Venom Beyond the Bite, and Elijah Kanye, Murdered for Love. From Cameras Africa to award this Teresa Singer Cheng to come over and award this particular category. This award carries a 50,000 shillings cash award from the Kenya Film Commission. It also has a gift hamper from Samsung and a Sony camera from Camera Africa. Thank you very much, Cameras Africa for this excellent prize. Thank you to KFC as well. And we are grateful to Samsung for partnering with the KFC tonight. Oh Good evening, everyone. Good evening, come on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, on behalf of Cameras Africa, I'm honored to present this award. And the best director of photography goes to drum rolls, Jim Bishop. Jimbo. <laughs> Jim Bishop, one of the top DOPs in Kenya. Starting his career in Kenya several years ago on Makutano Junction. Please give him a round of applause. Also has one of the most colorful suits ever. find his glasses and read the speech. DOP. Uh, right. Um, sorry, I just hate having my photo taken. Um, anyway, for a DOP to come out from behind the camera feels quite strange, but here goes. For those of you who know me well, what a nice surprise to see me in long trousers. Anyway, on to the matter at hand. Uh, thank you very much to KFC and Kalasha for such an amazing night. Um, Half Open Window was funded by Maisha Magic Movies on a fairly tight budget to such an extent that all of us crew and cast actually lived on set in the main filming location for the five days of principal photography. So we got to know each other quite well. But out of such challenges, great artistic ventures are created. And I'm hugely proud of how well our small film has done. Though that's not to say we wouldn't say no to some more money next time. I'd like to thank Margaret, my producer, for giving, giving me the job. Omar, my director, for being such a pleasure to collaborate with. And of course, uh, no DOP works in a vacuum. So I'd like to thank all the talented and hardworking cast and crew, and especially Jethro, my gaffer, and Hulk, my first AC. Thanks again, and let's keep creating. Thank you, good night. We now move on to the Best Director category. This award is for the creative who controls the film's artistic, creative, and dramatic aspects, visualizing the screenplay and guiding the film crew and actors in the fulfillment of the film's vision. Here are this year's nominees. Best Director. And the nominees are Omar Hamza, Half Open Window Daudi Anguka 
Uvera, MD Nelly, Where the River Divides, Elijah Kanye, Death of a Kenyan Heiress, Eric M. Wangi, Act of Love. Right, and to present this award, we call on to our captain, our CEO from Kenya Film Commission, Mr. Timothy Owasi. This award comes with a 100,000 shilling cash award from MultiChoice and 50,000 shillings from KFC, as well as a gift hamper from Samsung. Ladies and gentlemen, Best Director, Daudi Anguka. All the way from Mombasani, from Vera, Mr. Daudi Anguka. <laughs> Director 001. Hello everyone. Haba na haba. Wajua vile natoka Mombasani, itabidi watu wangu wa Mombasani waweze kunisikia, si ndio? Ah, uh, kitu ya kwanza nitakusema kuwa asante kwa watu wote ambao tumekuwa nao kwa ushindani ambao tukishindania hii category. Lakini yote ni kuonyesha kuwa sisi sote tumefanya kazi nzuri. Na hii kazi nzuri haijakuwa yangu imekuwa na ya hao watu wako nyuma makofi kwa utafadhali Na nasema asante sana Mungu abariki na Mvera haikuwa jambo rahisi nili nilisema hao watu wa Mombasa wacha tuwalete huko si ndio Situmuona tumwaleta na mimi ile kitu nahitaji ni pesa ikuje kwanza ikuwa bi pesa Juu <laughs> niko na watu wengi hapa sana Anyway, lakini nasema sante sana Mungu abariki. Shukran. Na 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 sinema da, Daudi and, and the whole Wutan clan, please make your way down to the red carpet for an interview. Fantastic. On with the show. We've got a few categories left, so bear with us. Best feature film is the next one, and this award is for a motion picture with a runtime of about 60 minutes to 180 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the nominees are... Best feature film, and the nominees are... Half Open Window, Margaret Washera, Uvera Daudi Anguka, an instant dad, Jennifer Gatero. A familiar Christmas, Ruben Odanga. Mono, Joyce Gashanja. Right. Deputy Head of Development Corporation, Kenya, Germany Embassy to present this award, Elena Khan. This award comes with a 50,000 shilling cash award from the Kenya Film Commission, as well as a Samsung gift hamper. And the winner for the best feature film is Mvera by Daudi Ambuka. One more time for the people in Mombasani and Daudi Anguka. Taking away best feature film. Cinema Ifanyanini. Cinema Ifanyanini.
Ndaku uh, sema Tena na tena Habana haba Ujaza kibaba Kila mtu habana haba Ujaza kibaba uh, Yangu ni asanteni sana Na hii naonyesha kuwa Kila mtu wanaiza fanya kazi nzuri Lakini kuna jambo moja Nikipenda kusema kuwa Kwa jili ya nini tunaweza kufanya hizi, hizi feature film Sote tukutane kama wasani Na tuweze kusukuma hii gurudumu kwa moja Sindio? Na kuna kazi moja ndugu yangu ya fanya Anaitua Ezekiel Ezekiel ameamua kuwa Wasani wote kutoka Kenya nzima na waleta pamoja Na kama sisi sote tunaweza kuwa pamoja Naweza sema kuwa Tutafanya ficha film nyingi Na tutazidi kumekishua kuwa sinema inafanya nini? Inatanda Na hii award Ni kwa mamangu marehemu Milka Anguka Na kwa jili Ni kuna sistangu mdogo Ni muambia ya wadi takuwaki kama tutawin Kwa lilo mama karibu Hello My name is Lopez Ara And I'm the sister to Daudi Anguka Yeah, this is for my mom Asante ni sana Na hii nguo nilipewa Zawadi na rafiki yangu moja Anaitua Bispok Sasa leo enda menvalisha bure Asante sana Bispok, mali uko, asante sana. Shokran. Ziga. Right. Uh, I, I, yes, you have to go to the red carpet, but at this particular point, I think just hang around. As we come close to the end of tonight's celebration, we'd like to request all winners to prepare themselves for a group photo that shall be taken right here on this stage. So please don't leave just yet. We're just about to wrap up and then we can have the group photograph. Ladies and gentlemen, Best Viewer's Choice Award TV Drama is the next category. Now this award is for Viewer's Choice Award in a TV drama, the people's choice on a, t uh, on a television series whose script depicts dramatic events characterized by having multiple plots and characters. Here are your nominees. In the category of Best Viewer's Choice TV Drama, the nominees are Igiza, Abdul Kadir Abdullahi, Pepeta, James Combo, Single Kiasi, Grace Kahaki, Zari, Hadija Hassan, Kina, Season 4, AP Matere. And to award this one, please welcome on stage 2024 Jury Chair from Moonbeam Production, Lucy Mwangi. This award has a 50,000 shilling cash award. It has 100,000 shillings from the Communications Authority of Kenya and a Samsung gift hamper. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I will be doing an injustice if I don't recognize uh, the members of the Academy. I will just ask kindly that they wave. Nina, Naftali, Ledama, Annabelle, Elias, Charity, who is somewhere. Did I miss anyone? These guys worked for so many hours to be able to have the nominees that you've seen on the screens. There were six long days, and I think they did an amazing job. Without further ado, I just want to mention that we are the current holders of this award, Njorowa Uba. Woohoo! So we are now lending it to James Combo. Pepeta! James Combo, better known as Draka, picks up another award for Pepeta.
a round of applause. Again, it all started as a, as a dream, and here we are. Uh, God did, God has, and God will, so we give him all the thanks. Now, to family that has remained our source of strength and inspiration, uh, to all our friends for cheering us on, much appreciated, Pepeta Fanbase. We have received so much love from you. And uh, Pepeta resonates with most because it's a story of lost opportunities, missed opportunities. If you haven't watched it, please do so. It streams on Showmax and Maisha Magic. Now, um, a big shout out to the most brilliant, outstanding actors who did not get recognition, do know that we appreciate you and this is for you, okay? Zeze is not here with us. Uh, he was the gang leader who became a meme. You saw him on TikTok and all that. He goes by the name Dead and Juma. Uh, Kefa, George Mo, the obsessed cop. Baba Junior, Eravuna Wycliffe. Uh, the overbearing dad, we remember Biki, Luanda Jawar, the ever-present coach, Nduta, Avril Nyambura, the supportive girlfriend, and the new talent that into was introduced to us by Charlie, that is Junior, that is Brahim Ouma, Dimore, Malik Lemuel, he's not here, Gracie, Frida Mumbe, Esther, who was Susan Karani, Dayo, Eric Aswani, Ade, Moses Gadoga, and Shira, Thweta Mwangi. The synergy on set was incredible, excellent execution. We are grateful beyond, beyond words. Keep shining, Kongole. Thank you. Congratulations to you. Very well done. And now we come to the final award of the evening. Last, but certainly not least. This award is for the Viewer's Choice Award feature film. The people's choice on which show you nominated and you voted for to win. Here are the nominees. ...of Best Viewer's Choice Award feature. The nominees are... Half Open Window, Margaret Washera, Vera. Daudi Anguka, An Instant Dad, Jennifer Gatero, A Familiar Christmas, Ruben Odanga, Mono, Joyce Gashanja. Right, and to present this final award, sales manager from Dorman's Coffee, Ken Tay. This prize comes with a cash award from the Kenya Film Commission worth 50,000 shillings. We have a Samsung hamper as well. And another cash prize of 100,000 100, <laughs> from Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We truly saved the best for last. <laughs> Okay, the award for Best Viewer's Choice Award feature goes to Vera. Oh, what a night. What a night for Vera. What a night for Daudi Anguka. What a night for Coastal Films and TV. Quite the energetic lot they are. <laughs> 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 
Kulali Kileo. A few words as we close the evening, Tafadali. Yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me take this chance uh, to express my pleasure and gratitude in receiving this great accolade. I'm humbled to receive this honor and recognition, and I would mostly want to thank my team who gave their all in this project. I will not be here without them, so Team Vera and the wider IR film team, Asante Nisana. <laughs> Let this be an inspiration to the new filmmaker out there to believe in yourself. Surround yourself uh, with a solid team and never give up. Nayamwisho Nikisema, Kwa Nduguzangu Wote, Rafkiangu, Kutoka Mombasa Civilizer, uh, producer wangu Erastas Mtua, na team yangu yote ambao wamekuja hapa kweza kusupport mungu awabariki. Asante ni sana. Ah. Na naona mama yetu yu wakuja. Hey, hey. Uyu, ako 15 years, bado ni mdogo. Ah, so asante ni sana. Asante ni sana na mungu wabariki. Na cinema ifanye nini? Itame. Cinema i? Itame. Asante ni sana. Now before you walk off stage, I'd like to request all the winners in the house, those who are still here with us, please, winners, make your way to the stage. I'd like to request the jury from this year's Kalasha Film, International Film and Television Awards. Jury members, please come up to the stage. Hey guys, winners, where are you going? All winners in the building, we'd like to take a group photograph of all of you. Please come back on stage with your trophies. We'd also like to request the jury that had to go through tonight's selections. Jury members from the board of KFC who are still present as well, please come up to the stage. One more request again. Jury members, award winners, and members of the board from the KFC, please come up so we can have a group photograph of all of you. If there are any of you who are outside, we'd like to request that you make your way. And as that happens, we'd like to thank our partners for this year. Fantastic. We'd like to say thank you so very, very much to all our partners who have been instrumental towards the success of this particular event. Communications Authority of Kenya, Kenya Film Classification Board, National Film and Video Foundation South Africa, Copyright Tribunal Kenya, Multi-Choice, Star Times, Showmax, Oldsbags SPI, Samsung, The Gorte Institute, Anger Cinemas, Royal Tulip, Argyle Grand Hotel, Cameras Africa, Mind Me International, Sony, Jami Telcom, Dormans, Madison Insurance, Ken Bright, Kenya Film and Television Professional Association, Grisel Studios, and The Bar and Tiki Tiki. Let's all get a bit closer to each other, huddle a little bit. The ones at the back either you take a step forward so that you're a bit closer. A bit closer. To Pendane, to Pendane. The second, oh, please step forward so we can see all of you. You're too far behind. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for your 2024 Kalasha Award winners. And with that, we say good evening. Very well done. Congratulations to all of this year's winners. We are grateful you've been here with us. 
and here's to the 2024 Kalasha International Film and TV Awards in Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you guys, thank you so much. And remember, interviews are the red carpet. After this, please make your way and make sure you do an interview. Thank you very much for being here with us. Happy Easter and congratulations. We made it. That's our time. We'd like to thank everyone for making it tonight. We'd love to thank the people behind. The amazing crew has been working here. And of course, the guys at uh, KFC as well, who've been uh, instrumental in making sure this happens. To my lovely co-hosts, hosts, both of them, Hi. Claudia. Welcome. Yeah. My mic just jammed. But yeah, it was amazing hosting with you, Makbul, Farid, and Sheila. You guys are amazing. Can't wait to do this with you again. Yeah, that, this is us submitting our next year. It's a good girl. <laughs> and also a big thank you to Farid, who was also part of the team tonight. Thank you for her having us. And thank you for being a wonderful audience. We sign out. We say adieu. See you next year. <laughs>